My eyes are puffy? The star of Girl World? The bad is finally over. All the good stuff is waiting for you. Oh my god! <laughs> whoop whoop! That's the sound of the police. Ha <laughs> ha! That's the sound of the geese. So you're really going to block the star of Gore World just because I'm defending myself against people? Are you serious? The star of Gore World. Hey, girl gang, what up, everybody? It's so good to see you guys here on such an important day in our little community, in our little girl world, whatever you want to call it. It is the day of the birth of our cutie. It's Chantal's birthday today. Yay! Happy birthday, Hammy! Yay! I would say I hope you had a fantastic birthday, but I can tell by all the raging you've done all day today, you had a hideous birthday. I got some theories. I got some ideas of why. But uh, yeah, for anybody who doesn't know, our girl is on one today. She is so pissed off. If you have seen the community tabs that have been posted today specifically the last one i don't know if it's been deleted i've been afraid to hit refresh on my page because if she deletes it it'll be gone so i want to make sure we had it for the stream so i haven't hit refresh there may even be more it's a book who who writes a book on their birthday i'll tell you who a miserable biatch who has a lot to bitch about a miserable biatch who was supposed to go to the gym today for the first time, remember? Remember she told us that yesterday in the stream we watched yesterday? Today, her birthday was supposed to be her first day at the gym. Remember back with me, y'all. Do you guys remember the day that she was supposed to go on a walk with Koki? It was supposed to be a walk. She like dumped him on that day. She picked a fight to leave on that day to not go on a walk. That's what we know of our girl. Now, on the day that was supposed to be her first day at the gym, does anyone believe that this rage is legitimate? Or could she have been looking for an excuse to get out of the gym? This is what I'm leaning towards today. All of the raging was her fake building herself up to get all worked up and outraged so that when Salad would wake up, hey, baby, she would be already fake outraged. Oh my God, and the reaction channels and the cats. Oh my God. And she could fake work herself up all day and then not go to the gym. It sounds like a very Chantal thing to do. It's what I'm leaning towards today. Why, why would suddenly this be today? She needed an, oh, an out. That's my opinion. Anyway, we will read the book together in the dramatic voice that we do the readings in. <laughs> Rachel, hey, thank you for the super chat. BBJ absolutely is the winner. Uh, uh, everybody who was there yesterday for our stream where we picked which collar to get for BBJ, uh, if you haven't seen it, it's up on the Twitch. I posted it up on this channel a couple hours ago. Uh, <laughs> 
It was a mess, but it was funny. We did decide on one finally. Their website was acting up last night. Their website worked this morning. So BBJ's little collar has been ordered. <laughs> I'm not kidding. And it's going to be delivered on the 3rd. So I'm hoping on the 3rd, I don't know, maybe in the, actually there's an appointment with BBJ the week of the 3rd. So I'm thinking that'll be the date we'll have a little photo shoot, maybe a little video. Her ex owner has now requested a video as in like a proof of life. So I'll make sure to put down a newspaper, current day's newspaper next to BBJ in her little Gucci um, catwalk, cat doing the catwalk fashion show, skinny fashion show, not a fatty fashion show. She's a skinny, jealous Chantal. <laughs> uh, Chris, thank you for the super chat. Uh, oh, thank you. I really, listen, I appreciate that. <laughs> I really do. That's why I don't, uh, listen, when uh, soon after the dogs had passed and I got the idea in my head that the evil eye had been brought to my home, that's that's when my dad got me the the new eye and everything. It was like a whole thing and the and the the water from the church at the island in Tinos. I'm not even kidding. My dad my dad has like holy water in these little bottles from this church where his family's from. It's a, I had to bring home the the water and do little crosses above all the doors and stuff. Anyway, I did it. I don't know, like, do I believe in that stuff? I don't know, but it, it does no harm. So better to have done it, <laughs> you know what I mean? I, it's done, but I really, really appreciate it. Efraristopoli, that's very, very nice of you. Thank you. Capricorn NJ, thank you for the super chat. I hope everyone has their paneer, chocolate covered lochmas, candy bars dipped in fluff, wheelchairs and everything needed for this special day. Yes, I hope everybody does. <laughs> Live your best lives, y'all. Live your best lives. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. Can you imagine being that miserable on your birthday? I certainly can't. I'm someone who takes advantage of a birthday. I call it my birthday week. I'm one of those schmucks. You know what I mean? A full grown ass adult who has no kids so I can be the little bitch about it. I have a birthday week. I spoil myself all week. It's me time. It's me, 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 me. I, 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 you know what I mean? So like, I get that. Uh -huh. <laughs> I can't imagine being this miserable on my birthday ever. Pixie, thank you for the super chat. Happy birthday to everyone but Chantal. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. And yes, absolutely. Happy birthday, everybody. Except for Chantal. <laughs> Marvin, thank you for the super chat. Hey, Chantal, baby girl. I wanted to send you a super chat wishing you all the best on your special day. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> Thank you so much, Marvin. That's very, very kind of you to think of her on her special day <laughs> and to send that super chat. I'm sure she'll appreciate the fuck out of it. Rachel, hey, thank you for the super chat. Love you guys. Love always wins. Absolutely does. Thanks for being here, Rachel. Uh, panda Pup. Panda Pup, thank you for the super chat. New to the drama. You are a Panda Pup. That's so sweet. Welcome. To the deep fryer. I, I have conflicted feelings calling it that. I feel like it's intimidating. Welcome to the girl gang. Welcome to the deep fryer. Welcome to the dark side. However you want to look at it. Um, she will stay mad, baby. <laughs> Thanks for being here. New panda pup. We have a new Bambi, y'all. That's sweet. Cam, thank you for the super chat. She wrote, uh, I showed you my dong. Answer me, CP. <laughs> oh, my God. Come back, Mac. <laughs> Oh, serenity now. Oh, just why is she so mad? Why is she some? What do you guys think? Do you think this is mostly fake for the reason that I, I think to just get out of going to the gym? Or is the misery of Ramadan and the sweating and the, you know, no chemistry with the fake husband? Has it all gotten to her on her birthday? And maybe she saw that the cat got a Gucci item and she got fuck all for her birthday. And maybe there's some like hard feelings there. I don't know. I love to think that maybe that contributed to it. <laughs> Smexually frustrated. Mm, that makes a lot of sense. A lot. Of, you think it's real? Okay. Okay. The Gucci collar. <laughs> She's pissed because of no birthday sex. Mm, mm, I would be too, <laughs> to be totally honest. Mostly when you have a whole ass fake husband. Where's your dick? Oh, where's your birthday orgasm? Mm -hmm. Girl, please. I hope she at least got a whole ass cake for her birthday. Ugh. 
She got to see her O face one way or another. And if she's not going to get it the way, like, you know, eat, eat, she's got to eat a whole fucking cake. Uh, balls of flapping. Ozzy, thank you for the super chat. Jenna Marble's voice. I'm leisuring. I love it. I <laughs> love it. Love, I miss Jenna so much. Tennessee Yaya says she only got $83 in super chats on her birthday. You mean like today? Oh, that's a shame. That's a shame. <laughs> Chantaudler, thank you for the super chat. Chantal, your toddler is showing again. Salad Boy doesn't love you, and he never will. Happy birthday. The happiest of birthdays. <laughs> uh, Boas B, thank you for the super chat. Can we just call Salad the rent-a-husband as he is? We can. We definitely can. I got no problem with rent-a-husband. Rent-a-robot. Rent-a-tall Pete's. I mean, there's a lot of ways to fill that in at the end there, you know? You, you, you pick your poison. Maggie K, thank you for the super chat. I was going to, I guess, wish Chantal a happy birthday, but it appears my bank account won't transfer money to animal abusers. That is such a shame. Wow, what a shame. Um, I I like your bank card. <laughs> Thank you so much, Maggie K. And it's it really is the thought that counts. So, you know. Daily, thank you for the super chat. Donated to, to, to blah, 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 blah. Donated to my local RSPCA on behalf of BBJ, Ollie, and Mags. That is so, so sweet of you. Thank you so, so much for doing that. I love that. If everyone, like, took care of their own, you know, in a way, like, they're, they're, I, pff, I don't know how to say it, but if everyone, like, who donated stuff or who did did for their own place, maybe everything would be taken care of in the world. Maybe maybe that's me being a little too, uh, I don't know, Bambi about it, <laughs> a little too uh, Pollyanna about the whole thing, but it would go a long way. That's for damn sure. So thank you so much for doing that. Lisa, hey girl, thank you for the super chat. Evil eye for life. Love it. Love it. Lisa, by the way, if anybody doesn't know, has the absolute best tattoos. She has exactly that Matsy tattoo twice. <laughs> and I love them so much. Beautiful tattoos, girl. Act local. Is that a thing? I didn't know that was a thing, but I love that. Act local. Yes. Uh, Poppy Cats, thank you for the super chat. She's been re uh, reading the farms. They bashed her salad and the fake cat feeding interesting the farms every channel we all that was like unanimous unanimous we were all grossed out by that performance hmm? oh god missy moo acting i'm gonna say one thing about missy moo okay pissy poo you guys know i do not fuck with that woman mm -mm, not at all not welcome into the gang no 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 never she put out however a like one minute and something video today and she took, it was such a savage dig at Chantal without like, you know, you would say with a white glove on. She never actually like said anything hateful or spiteful. But the little one minute story she told was such a fucking burn. It was so funny. I died. Gucci Gang Gamer Girl sent me the little video or the link to the video. Holy shit. I will give her that one. Missy Moo, what you put out today was fucking savage. And I really liked it. I got nothing to say about that. That was funny. A Saturday repurpose. Thank you for the super chat. Amazon Adidas one piece pet sweatsuit. Are you kidding me? Let me take screenshot right now of screen. I'm on it. Oh my God. That's fantastic. Oh my God. BBJ walks into the vet next week in an Adidas, an Adidas, blah, 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 an Adidas sweatsuit and a Gucci collar on. And they're like, what the fuck happened to this cat? <laughs> I love it. Flirty Hershey, thank you for the super chat. Happy birthday, Shen Whale. May you melt like cheese in your cell, inshallah. Melt like cheese. I like that. Oh, God, that's what it would smell like, too. That's accurate. I've been saying melt like fat, like a fat candle. But you're right. Melt like cheese is perfect. Thank you, Flirty Hershey. Bex the Divine Feminine, thank you for the super chat. Shout out to Chantal's uncle for not pulling out. No! <laughs> Oh my God, that's it. You win. That's the best one. That was the best one I read today. Holy shit, that was funny. Yes. Shout out to the Funkle father for not pulling out 39 years ago. Well, no, she was born more than that. 39 years plus nine months ago today. Holy fuck, that was so funny. Oh my God. <laughs> pew, pew, Chantal. Pew, pew. Need some Z's? Thank you for the super chat. Wishing you the happiest birthday today, Chantal. Put this towards something nice for yourself, Spike. No. 
Thank you so, so much. That was very generous of you to think of her on her birthday. Thank you. I'm dying. You guys are fucking killing me tonight. <laughs> West Coast girl, thank you for the super chat. BBJ is going to look like a pimp. Inshallah. <laughs> would be amazing she's in the big city now she's gotta look cool you know what i mean <laughs> oh my god should i put her like I, I well i gotta get baby aducci out she's so tiny i'm trying to picture the size of the cat and picture baby aducci because baby aducci's been in the box in the cupboard since the day i put it back in there after the spca thing do you think for the photo shoot just for the photo shoot bbj could maybe be sitting in the baby aducci Maybe like, you know, standing on her on her back legs, like out of baby Aducci with her little Aducci collar on and her little Adidas tracksuit on. Oh my God. Is that animal exploitation at that point? You tell me, because I'm down. <laughs> we need a full ass photo shoot here. Yes, this is all. Yes, we're doing this. Okay, fuck it. I'm going to do this. I don't fucking care. We're doing this. Is this the beginning or the end of straight? It's really hard to tell, eh? We got a weird vibe going on today. This is the beginning. <laughs> It just feels like the end. <laughs> okay, that is the cue. Let's get down to business. All right. <clears throat> First, before we get into our react, uh, which may or may not be deleted. It had been deleted earlier in the day, so I had titled our stream something, something deleted, blah, blah, blah. And then when I went and looked at her channel, oh, shit, she put it back up. So I took the word deleted out of the title. So right now it, it is the either deleted or non-deleted <laughs> video that we're going to be watching. She doesn't know what she's doing. Um, but we will read the community tab before we get into that because it's crazy. Desiree, thank you so much for the super chat. Birthday wishes. Get her cat sunglasses too. Oh my God. Like the little sunglasses Ollie had. Oh. oh my God, that would be adorable. Okay, I'm on it. Quote the Raven, thank you for the super chat. Calling it out. Chins is going to say you're stealing her birthday today with all these super chats. Yes, I've stolen her birthday. It is what it is. <laughs> Oh my God, that fucking French fried asshole. She stole my birthday. It's all her fault. True bet. Pandu, thank you for the super chat. I pimped your cat, bish. <laughs> oh my God. Bloop, I pimped your cat, bish. <laughs> this is like a, it feels like a Friday around here today. I like it. Balls of flapping Aussie. Thank you for the super chat. For the professional photographer. Fun. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, wait, 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 breathe, breathe. You remember I said when I was a kid, the thing that we used to do in like the early nineties here, everybody would go to Sears and you would do those corny ass fucking pictures at Sears. Number one, okay, Sears is gone. Does anyone know anywhere where you can get those corny ass fucking pictures done? I swear to God, I'm taking my niece and we're gonna go. <laughs> we're gonna do the family portrait together. I swear to God. There's Sears. Exactly. I need to find, we don't have JC Penny here. Oh my God. Okay. This is something for me to Google after the stream. I'm, it needs to be as corny as ever. I need it to have those same backdrops. Like in the early nineties, this is going to be so good. I will tease my hair up. Like it would have looked like in the early nineties. Oh, oh, I'm so excited right now. <laughs> this is happening. She's going to live her best goddamn life. I'm telling you until the end. And this is what it is. Mrs. Pickles, thank you for the super chat. Here, Chantal, I wanted to gift you as um, a gift that reflected what your scale sees. $4.99, you savage. I love it. She won't, but I love it. It does sound fun. Adidas family portrait. <laughs> ah, ASMR fan, thank you for the super chat. Happy birthday, Chantal. Much love to BBJ. Why, well, thank you so much. It's very kind of you to think of Chantal on this day. Table neck, tabarnak. Thank you for the super chat. Here is Chantal's birthday money. Why, thank you again. So very generous and kind of you, all of you, to be thinking of Chantal on this day. She calls us a hateful group. Look at all, look at everybody wishing you well today, Chantal. Love that. Tweety, hey girl, thank you for the super chat. Chantal, your fast is meaningless as you insult people in rages. Exactly. But you aren't really fasting anyway, right? <laughs> right, Tweety? Absolutely. If you fast all day, if you do everything proper all day, and then you rage at someone during the evening in Ramadan, you still fucked up your day. The day doesn't count. That woman, oh my God, FFG, the passport place in Alexis Neon. Holy shit, that's actually really good because that place has been there so long. I bet the backdrops are from the early 90s. 
High five. Uh, I'm going to check it out. I think that's our best bet. Oh, you get ready for the horrific photos that are coming. Oh my God. And I'll get the thing like my mom had got when I was a kid. It's like the circle chain thing with the picture in it. <laughs> Just out of spite. I wear my niece on my neck out of spite. Chantal's batty and vile Funkle fatty. Thank you for the super chat. I definitely think we should do a BBJ cam a calendar and all the proceeds go to charity of needed animals. I'd buy that shit. I love that. That's really sweet. We can make that happen. I love corny pictures and stuff. We could do this. Oh, we could do this. Great idea. Love this for you. Thank you for the super chat. In Ollie, Maggie, Sam, and BBJ's honors. Happy birthday, Chantal. Oh, 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 oh. From all the babies. I love it. Thank you so much. You'd buy that? I'd buy that too. Sounds cute. It sounds really fucking cute. Pixie, thank you for the super chat. Glamour shots fund. That's so cute. Thank you, Pixie. BBJ is a little firefighter. Yeah, we get little action shots. You know what I mean? Little outfits going. That's cute. FFJ calendar per month photos. I think it's adorable. Tabernak, tabernak. Thank you again for super chat. Spite super chat giving you her birthday cash times too. Why? Thank you so much, tabernak. That is very, very nice of you. BBJ is now the mascot of the Gucci girl gang. Absolutely, Oceana song. BBJ Feldman is girl gang now. It is what it is. <laughs> Hanny, thank you for the super chat. Treated myself to a, a Gucci choker and donated the same amount to local shelter on BBJ and my fur baby's behalf. Now this is for BBJ Glam Photo Fun. Thank you so much, honey. That's very kind of you and very, very nice uh, nice of you to do that donation. I really, really like that. That's very cool. Thank you, honey. Uh, la dee da. Thank you for the super chat. Zellers or the bay? The bay? I didn't know the bay does those. Zellers we don't have anymore. They're bringing them back, but it's like a whole ass thing. If the bay does them, that's easy. There's fucking the bays everywhere, you know? Oh, I love it. I'm going to look into this. I'm going to look into this. We're going to try and do this. Teresa K., thank you for the super chat. They have pet photographers that will come to your home. Oh, that's sweet. Okay, that might be the easiest thing and the less stressful for everybody. We will see. Okay, I'm going to look into this, y'all. Gypsy Blue, thank you for the super chat. Happy birthday, Chins. Thanks for giving FFG the fodder to make us all laugh. Oh, my God, no. I mean, yes. Thank you so much. And thank you, Gypsy Blue. I appreciate it. I sat a repurpose. Thank you again for the super chat. I just checked. They have a sweatsuit that's Adidas and says, we win on the back. Are you shitting me? Well, that's the one there. There's no choice. That is the one. We're getting that one. It is what it is. It was meant to be. Thanks for checking us out of repurpose. That's cool. Capricorn NJ, thank you again for the super chat. Oh my God. It will be like those bad Olin Mills picks. I don't know what that an, like Olin Mills is, but yes, they will be horrible. And I'm sure you can picture exactly what I'm going for with these horrible picks. They're going to be great. It's going to be so kitschy and cute. Witty, thank you for the super chat for BBJ's therapy after you freaks are done with her. <laughs> Come, I'm sure she likes it. What would you prefer? Okay, picture it. Montreal, 2023. You've been uh, neglected for God knows how many years. Everything on your little body hurts. Suddenly, one by one, these little pains are going away and are being treated. And oh, you wake up feeling a little better every day of your life. Now, instead of being neglected and treated like crap and just having handfuls of treats kind of thrown in your face all day, you get uh, crazy people doting on you and spending disgusting amounts of money to make themselves laugh. Listen, I know what I'm picking. That's my best fucking life. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Actually, the more I think about that, mm -hmm. listen, she had crazy before. There's two kinds of crazy. There's like dangerous crazy and there's fun crazy. At least this side now she's with fun crazy. She was just with dangerous crazy for a long time. Like we're not so crazy that like, Pets don't get fed and shit or like attempted to euthanize for no reason. We just, you know, buy them little outfits and set up photo shoots and dumb shit like that. I'm going with our, the fun crazy bodega cat. Thank you for the super chat for the family photo fun. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Camby, thank you for the super chat. This is a weight you will never see. Bloop. Bloop. <laughs> mean can be a little bit mean, truthful <laughs> potato, potato. Ashley, thank you for the super chat. Gucci Glamour Girl Beach. I love it. She's a fucking icon. She deserves everything in this life, BBJ. She's had a hard time. 
Let her live. Let her live her best spoiled, disgusting life. Chun, thank you for the super chat. That's very nice of you. The cat on a camel sig box. Hot. Ah. We're so petty today. I love it. I don't know what it is. This group has taken a turn for the petty in the past like week and a half. Since we did that petty Sunday thing last week. I don't know. We never like got our heads out of the gutter, but I like it. Let's just lean in. This is fun. That girl, thank you for the super chat. Happy birthday, toddler spite. Love it. Thank you so much. Um, Cheeto Fire Cat, thank you for the super chat. I'm stoked for a photo shoot. It'll be adorable and so stupid. I love adorable and stupid. That's that's my niche. Tamara, thank you for the super chat. From one Aries to another, happy birthday, fatty. Stay mad, baby. I think you mean from one fries to another. But that's neither here nor there. I wonder if on a day like today's her birthday, she looks down at her wrist, sees the fries and even her, like, because even her, she can only see fries now. And she's like, fuck to herself. Like, why did I do this? <laughs> I haunt you, beach. RC, thank you for the super sticker. I appreciate it. Yes, the best and being spoiled by all of us aunties and uncles. Yes, yeah, that's living her best life. Completely isolated from everything before. And now she's got all of us going on. It's great. Nick444, thank you for the super chat. Happy birthday, Chantal. I love that for you. I love it the most. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Uh, KBS, thank you for the super chat. Hey, FFG, make a coffee mug or tea and donate. We're we're looking to do one way better. Fuck a coffee mug or a tea. We're, we're trying to look at, uh, we discussed it the other night, doing an entire merch store. Uh, technically, Frenchie de. The way it works, if you have more than like 10,000 subs, you can put up the merch store, like, what do they call it? Merch store shelf or something on your YouTube channel. So Frenchie Duh has like just passed 10,000 subs. I could make a whole separate merch store because I didn't want anyone thinking like things getting murky and there's the FFG stuff and that. So we were talking the other day about doing the entire Frenchie Duh merch store just to be donated every month. Like any anything that's sold in that merch store will be donated to animal causes and we can decide as a group where we want to donate it. I think that would be really cool instead of maybe just like, you know, a, a t-shirt or a thing, a whole separate merch store over there. You know what I mean? I think it would be cool. I think it would be cool. Little May. Thank you for the super chat. Um, I wait, I'd buy it. Wait, I buy it money for BBJ calendar fund. You would. I love that. Good to know. We'll see. We'll see what we'll do. Okay. We've got plans going. Be Thirsty's Pretzel. Thank you for the super chat. Let's make it a postcard. That'll really burn Chantal since she never sent any LOL. I don't want to jump on postcards. Postcards has very much become Yabba's thing. When Chantal dropped that ball, Yabba scooped it up and her postcards are so fucking hilarious. I'm not getting, not dipping my toe into postcards. Let Yabba do that one because my God, she does them so well. They are so fucking funny. Panda, uh, Panda Pup, thank you again for super chat. BBJ photo shoot, put her in a birthday hat. Wouldn't that be cute? They must make those. You must be able to get those on Amazon because the dogs have their little birthday hats. So why would a cat size exist? <laughs> I think it could. It looks like a piece of cake. They're adorable. Rachel, hey, thank you for the super chat. Uh, Chantal's birthday was yesterday in Kuwait. Ha <laughs> ha, wah wah, the moment has passed. Oh, her glory day is over and her glory day sucked. That's a shame. Dynamite, thank you for the super chat. We need a BBJ wish list for a photo shoot. Listen, we can do it. These are the kind of things I like to do on Twitch because it's our intimate beezing setting and I can actually keep up with the chat and like have interaction and stuff. We could come up with the ideas over on Twitch. That could be a whole ass Twitch stream. It would be a lot of fun. I love it. Cowboy Dog, thank you for the super chat. Can we officially call her FFJ? New life, new name. Sure, sure. I'll probably keep forgetting just because my memory has gone to shit. But whenever I remember to, I'll try and call her FFJ. But forgive me if I keep calling her BBJ. Uh, FFG, letting Yabba do her thing shows respect. Yeah, absolutely. Listen, it's, it's not about like, oh, no, I'm not stepping my toe in there. There's no way I can do them anywhere near as like, well, funny, nothing. That is just so Yabba's thing. You know what I mean? I love them so much, though. They're so good. And everyone gets all excited when they're going to get them. It's, I love it. The hype for them and stuff. Fantastically done. Uh, Noodle, thank you for the super chat. Konya Polo, Chantal, buy yourself some Lokumades. She never will. <laughs> they don't have Lokumade money anymore. Konya uh, Pola is what we say in Greek when it's your birthday. So, yeah, Chantal. 
why don't you go, why don't you walk out of your house if you can right now, go and unlock the door and go down the street, put your hand in your pocket, pull out some money and buy yourself some locomotives if you can. <laughs> Something tells me there's not a cent in your pocket nor a key in that door. Wah, wah. Can you imagine getting locked in a, in a cell apartment on your birthday? You're broke. Your husband's gone and you probably have no idea where he is. Allegedly conspiracy, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> jet lago mint withdrawal thank you for the super chat best of both worlds find someone really good at photoshop so bbj can stay retired but the calendar still happens oh that's a good idea yeah maybe all i'd have to do is snap like 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 shots of her let's say just walking around or doing stuff in the house attacking that fucking feather that she loves or something and somebody could put little outfits on her that that sounds like a good idea i like that thanks for the idea Chantal's batty, a vile and funkel fatty. Wow. Thank you for the super chat. Make uh, March just you and BBJ flipping the bird. I like it. <laughs> I like it a lot. I like it a lot, a lot. Emerald Skies ASMR. Thank you for the super chat. Love the Napoleon Dynamite vibes. Why, thank you, girl. <laughs> Joyce Dawn. Hey, girl. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you for making this, uh, making this, fun because I needed laughter today. And thank you, BBJ. Thank you for BJ. Well, thanks for being here, Joyce Don. It's nice to see you. Uh, you know, we try and make her boring shit fun. I don't know what to say. A lot more fun over here than over there. That's for damn sure. Pity's rock. Hey girl. Thank you for the super chat. Help. Can't chat. Am I blocked? No, absolutely not. I don't know. Why wouldn't you be able to chat? The slow mode is on. Oh my God. Slow mode's on, but don't worry. You absolutely can chat. If you couldn't, we wouldn't see this message. Slow mode is on though. Don't take it personal. It's just so I can try and keep up. Chorley Sporkle. Thank you for the super sticker. I really appreciate it. Chorley Sporkle. Nice to see you. Um, FFJ in a bed of French fries. <laughs> Adorable and creepy. I love it. Ryan, thank you for the super chat. Happy birthday, Chantal. You're a terrible Miriam. A uh, dollar or a fr I don't, I don't. Yeah. Wait. It's so small. I'm sorry. A dollar? Is that what it is? A dollar for each time you've quit YouTube this past week. Okay. That Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. <laughs> yeah. For anyone keeping track, she's now quit YouTube four times in the past 12 days. It's a pound. Okay. I'm sorry. I couldn't see the symbol before it and it looked like a one after it but it's so tiny where I'm trying to read it, but that didn't make sense. Okay. Yeah. She's quit four times in 12 days, y'all 12 effing days. <laughs> That's pretty bad. Pixie. Thank you for the super chat. One word postcards of glamour shot. I, I just like the glamour shots. I, I really do. It would be cute if we could get something that looks like a paw print and have like little BBJs like paw print, but it wouldn't really be her paw print and be like, Oh, you could get it an autographed uh, glamour shot of BBJ. <laughs> FFG, did you see the Gucci pet beds? Oh, hell yeah, I did. Hell yeah, I did. <laughs> They're really cute. Um, she's having her birthday breakdown. Is she, wait, was that the notification I just got? I just got a notification. No, no, no. Okay, phew, phew. Bit bop. Thank you for the super chat. Petty and proud of it. Same Z's. High five. <laughs> Emma, thank you for the super chat fries season. It absolutely is. You gotta love that Aries slash fries season. Crazy things happen. <laughs> uh, Kiki, thank you for the super chat. I missed the Gucci stream. Girl, it was so much fun. It's posted up on the channel. Uh, I posted a few hours ago. The thumbnail is BBJ, the Gucci like symbol, and she's wearing a little uh, crown on her head. It was a really good time. <laughs> you know she's watching this. I mean, probably. <laughs> Hey, Chantal, happy birthday. Glad it sucked so bad. What did you get from your fake husband? Did you get Gucci hmm? for your birthday? Where's your Gucci? Hmm? Where's your gift? Where's your front door key? Yeah, that's what I thought. Catalicious, thank you for the super chat. The day you rescued BBJ should officially be her birthday. Yeah, we were talking about doing that. I think that's that's what it's going to be, you know? Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. <laughs> It sort of is the day she got her life, right? Very good. Thank you for the super chat. You're having the birthday you deserve, Chantal. Bloop. Bloop. That's so savage and true. 
It's me, Jess. Thank you for the super chat, girl. I appreciate it. Raven, hey, girl. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you for the spite and the fries and the little devil face. I love it. Thanks, girl. <laughs> I'm so mad. Stay mad, baby. Feral girl, thank you for the super chat. I said it before and I'll say it again. Stay rogue, baby. I love that. I love that and I live by that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There are certain areas in life where rogue is the way to be. Girl world, <laughs> YouTube, it's the place. Thanks so much, feral girl. Flirty Hershey, thank you again for the super chat. I'd fund the calendar myself. Let me know. That's so cute. That is so cute. Thank you, Flirty Hershey. Cougarelli, thank you for the super chat. It warms my heart that BBJ finally gets the attention she deserves instead of a hoof throwing treats at her to make her shut up. Same. Same. That's heartbreaking. And in her mind, she probably thinks, look, I was always giving the cats treats. Like they were that were well taken care of. No, <laughs> no. But she kind of grew up like that too. Her, she said herself she was put in front of a TV and given a bag of chips. Isn't that sort of the same thing that she does to the cats with the treats? You know what I mean? No interaction, no stimulation, no anything. Just here, eat this. Sad. Uh, girl MacGyver, thank you for the super sticker, girl. Honey, thank you again, girl. Frenchie, I'm a professional illustrator artist. I'd love to contribute for free if you want to make FFJ merch for charity. That is so nice of you, Henny. I would really appreciate that. I think it's a cool idea that we make her a whole, not, not just her, but like we make a merch shop dedicated to the animals because like that is my thing and just donate the whole thing. Why not? You know, I think it's, it's a cool idea. And I would love to wear, let's say like an Ollie t-shirt shit. I would wear that shit all the time. So I would be contributing a shit ton to this uh, charity we would have going on. I love it the most. I really, I just want Ollie's face on shirts and stuff. Let's just be real. I want to wear it myself. The R man, thank you for the super chat. Aha, FFG, what did Everest ask not to talk about? He wasn't so bold as like, don't talk about this. Um, we will discuss Evie, okay? Evie has messaged me again on Instagram. I responded back today and I saw that now there's there's a couple messages again unread. So um, he's going back and forth. It's really funny. He's very, very nice. I said this the other day too. Just so like well-spoken, so respectful. It seems wise, like way wiser than his age. You know what I mean? Um, he think he gets a real kick out of the fact that we react to him. He he thinks it's funny. He likes this group. We're going to discuss, we need sort of an emergency Twitch stream, even though he hasn't put up anything we need to discuss because there was a question asked of us sort of tomorrow. No, it can't be tomorrow. Shit. It can't be tomorrow. And it can't be Thursday either. I can't tell you this. Oh my God. There's a lot going on in my head. <laughs> Follow me, please. Thursday. There's something special going on. Um, I can't tell you yet, but it's going to be extra stupid and extra funny. Highly recommend. So I think on Friday, we'll have to do it on Friday. Friday, we'll do a YouTube because, you know, Friday we have to. And we'll also do an emergency Everest stream on Twitch. And that's scary because it's Friday. Listen, don't make me get the horny stick out now. Y'all need to control yourselves. It'll be Friday. <laughs> I know how y'all go crazy with the butt stuff and the cheese on Friday. We're going to be discussing Evie on Friday. I will have the stick ready to bonk all you horny bitches. Um, but yeah, we need to discuss Evie, you fit fuck. <laughs> anyway, anyway, we'll save that for Friday. All right. Uh, today, Chantal, focus, focus. Miss Movie Buff, thank you for the super chat. Oh, they're going to be adorable. We know they're going to be adorable. Put stuff. Woo. It's going to be wild wild wait wait I, lo I love when someone gets blocked oh it's timed out so you were a dick but not too much of a dick hmm <laughs> oh there it is you fucking crave enough about the damn cut get damn cat x x m x x go fuck yourself oh my god jesus fucking christ x x m x x leave <laughs> shut up and go <laughs> So we were done with the cat talk, but since XXMXX is enjoying it so goddamn much, who wants to talk about cat shit for another 20 minutes? I'm down. <laughs> XX, go fuck yourself, XX. Allie, thank you for the super chat. Appreciate it, girl. Yeah, shut up and leave. <laughs> Where's my thumbnail? <laughs> Runs in circles. Thank you for the super chat. Happy birthday, Jabba. And it's not Sprite Chins, it's Spite. Bloop, bloopity bloop. 
And Iglesias, thank you for the super chat. Count me in as volunteer illustrator. That's so kind of you guys. Thank you so much for offering. That's really, really nice of y'all. Y'all with your talents and your arts. I love it. Joyce Dawn, thank you again for the super chat. Chantal is desperate for money. Love that for her. Same Z's. High five. <laughs> Julie, thank you for the super chat. Shout out to Shmi. Without her, we wouldn't have found FFG and each other. Ah, who would have guessed Shmi was good for something? That's a great point, Julie. Shout out to Shmi. Getting knocked up at 16. Trying to trap an alcoholic man who didn't want anything to do with her. Well done, Shmi. <laughs> Girl world, thanks you. Elizabeth O, thank you for the super chat. You would? I love that. All right. All right, guys. We'll see what we'll do. We're going to make a calendar. Prince Boo Boo, thank you for the super chat. Thank you for all you do for BBJ. That's so nice of you. Thank you very much for being here. Fabric Fool, a.k.a. Creepy Girl. Thank you for the super chat. Creepy Girl, appreciate it. Um, NASA. <laughs> it's NASA. Hey, NASA. Thanks for being here. To celebrate you, FFG, stay mad, baby. Thank you, NASA. I appreciate that a lot. It means so much coming from NASA. I aspire to NASA. Ashley, thank you for the super chat. Chantal's non-existent points of egress. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Listen, Chantal, if you're here, just, just fucking put something in the chat. You must be steam coming out of your ears right now. Just fucking let it out. Let it out. <laughs> your belly's scary, but we know, Carrie. <laughs> let it out, baby. <laughs> Taz D, thank you for the super chat. Happy Chantal's birthday. Get yourself something nice from Adidas since she can't fit into anything. Bloop. Savage and also truthful. Those are always the best ones when they're savage but truthful. I love that one the most. Thank you, Taz D. Badussy. Hey, Badussy. Badussy, sniff, sniff my fishy, rancid, leaky draws. Thank you, Badussy. That's another mouthful. Rancid Chantal birthday moist clothes want some. Is that like a haiku? Sounds like a haiku. It ends like a haiku would end. I don't know shit about haikus, but girl, but does he? I think that's a haiku. Bubbles, thank you for the super chat. Perfect timing for my zoo. What is that? What is my zoo? I don't know what that is. Is that Missy Moo or something? <laughs> or does that just rhyme? Have I put those two things together for nothing? It could be. I don't know what that is. I'm sorry. What is my zoo? <laughs> I looked at the chat. No one says anything. What the fuck is my zoo? Yeah, I don't know either. Okay. I don't know either. I'm going to need more information. I have no idea what that is. I'm old. Remember when you talked to me? I'm old. I need explanations of things. Uh, Dalek Supreme, thank you for the super chat. More with the damn cat. Yeah, I agreed. Definitely more. X, X, M, X, X, idiot. Sandra, thank you for the super chat. Happy birthday, Chantal. Never gave you a dime. Bloop. Bloop. <laughs> Pixie, thank you for the super chat. Nalabu wants to give this week's allowance to Foodie Beauty. That's so cute. That is very cute. Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> Look at my tweet. Girl, I'm live. I, I can't, I can't, I, I can't. I'm always half an hour behind and that's when I don't have Twitter on on my phone. I don't look at tweets during our streams. Um, Jane Doe, thank you for the super chat. BBJ needs caviar flavored treats. Oh my God. That is the classiest thing I've ever heard of. If that exists, she definitely does. People are getting sassy. Well, get sassy. My uh, girl MacGyver, thank you for the super chat on this special day. I just want to say bloop here. Take my money. FFG, uh, FFG, you beautiful beach. Thank you so much. And thank you for the bloop. I love a good bloop. Makes me happy. My zoo. I believe makes stretchers and perches for cats. Oh, okay. Uh, I am the real Chantal. Why, thank you for the super chat, real Chantal. How nice of you to super chat me on your birthday. Happy birthday, Chantal. Enjoy FFG. Why, thank you, Chantal. I appreciate it. <laughs> Rebecca Ray, thank you for the super chat. Why are you making more money than Chantal on her birthday? Because she's boring and it is what it is. And people don't like to pay an alleged animal abuser. And I don't think I should have to say alleged when the vet confirmed. Cayenne Berry, thank you for the super chat. Can we get a NASA theme BBJ pick? Yes. Oh my God. One of those little astronaut helmets and she's in a rocket going to the moon. And the moon is made of cheese just to make Chantal double jealous. I love that. Yes. She needs to be working for NASA. 
adorable. <laughs> Gucci Gang Gamer Girl, thank you for the super chat. Over my dead body. I will not put that bitch on my channel. The video was funny. Still got well, nothing to do with her. I, I will never put that face on this channel. Ugh, fool. Never. But also, uh, sidebar, highly recommend everybody watches that video because it really was funny. <laughs> I just refuse. Not over here. NASA, thank you again for the super chat. And one more, I celebrate you, Effigy, because uh, I'm a petty ass Scorpio too, baby. I love that. Scorpio gang gang with NASA. Oh my God, it's like kismet. Kismet. Oh, thanks, NASA. Okie doll, thank you for the super chat. My 20 pound Maine Coon, Itty Bitty. Oh, that's a funny name. AKA Princess Von Itty Pants wanted FFJ to have a cap, wait, Cat Pacino on her. Why, thank you so much, Itty Bitty. I love your name for a 20-pound cat. <laughs> Maine Coon, eh? I wonder if that's the one Shannon has. Shannon's got this gigantic fucking cat. It came out of a bedroom. I got so scared. I'm like, oh my God, that's a raccoon. She's got this gigantic fucking cat. It's huge, huge. It looks at you and its eyes are bigger than a human. It's a little scary, but I'm also a little scared of cats. I don't know if it's also a Maine Coon, but ooh, that, that thing is scary. You catch out like, oh my God, you, that thing in the dark or something. I would have a fucking heart attack. It legit looked like a gigantic raccoon coming at you. FFG is a Norwegian cat. Classy. Sounds like a Maine Coon. And she's like 20 pounds. Because when I asked her, I'm like, how big is that fucking raccoon? She goes, 20 pounds. I'm like, Ollie was 24 pounds. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my God, that cat is huge. That raccoon ass looking ass cat is huge. Sissy Wolfcat, thank you for the super chat. Uh, thank you for being here. I really appreciate it, girl. Yeah, they're basically toddler size. That's funny. Tammy, thank you for the super chat. My first super chat. Could not pass up the chance. Happy birthday, Chantal. Why, thank you so much, Tammy, of thinking of Chantal on this day. That's so kind of you. <clears throat> Maine Coons are more dog than cat. I would say more raccoon than anything, but you, potato, potato. A status repurpose. Thank you again for the super chat. Sitting in Easter basket with peeps. Oh my God. Not the peeps. That might be like, like PTSD. It might bring things back from the peeps night. She was in the home when the Pete's bathtub incident happened. I wouldn't put peeps around her again. That's just cruelty. But yes. Oh my God. Oh my God. With all these, oh no, his little, um, oh, the Easter bunny outfit. I wonder if we could like tailor it to fit her and we can put it on her. That would be so cute. He used to be so cute in that fucking outfit. Oh, I'm going to see if I can make it work. I'm going to make it work. Bubbles, thank you for the super chat. Cat wall furniture. Oh, interesting. Okay, I will check that out. Ooh, cat wall furniture. Cool. <laughs> Very cool. All right, y'all, let's uh, let's pivot. Let's start the Chantal stuff, okay? I know XXMXX is already fed up, but I don't care. We're going to start with the book from the community tab so we can be done with it. Um, nobody wanted to read this on Twitter. Nobody. And everyone was just like, I'm waiting for FFG to read it. And it's like, well, why do I have to read it? But here we are. Everyone has waited for me. So I guess I get the task of reading us the book on this day. Let me get the tab. I'm going to need a swig of my drink before I get into all of this. Narayshan. Narayshan. Whoops. <laughs> ah, hey, Joey Jeremiah. It's me, Jess. Thank you for the super chat. We need the Gucci blanket for the photo shoot. That's insane. Just insane. I mean, maybe. <laughs> Peachy, thank you for the super chat. Oh, that's so cute. Thank you for adopting and not shopping. That's very responsible and the right thing to do. Thanks for doing that. Bit bop. Thank you for the super chat. Put a wig on BBJ parody of the pig. What if I clipped a little bit of the red wig and I made her a tiny cat sized red wig with a side pony on it? You know, if we're doing wigs, it's going to have a side pony. She's a, she's a Feldman now. Okay. It is what we do. <laughs> Don't say dip. I haven't read a word yet. Alexandra, thank you for the super chat. She does not. <laughs> it's a stupid already. I feel like the biggest asshole alive. But thanks for being here, girl. Crafts and cartoons craziness. Thank you for the super chat. Here's some money for cat wine. Is that a thing? Cat wine? Is that like catnip but wine? I got a lot to Google. That's insane. All right. All right. Are we ready for a fucking book? <laughs> I don't want to do. I don't want to do this. 
but we're gonna do this. <clears throat> All right, swig. Let's go. <laughs> Baja blast. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. I've had enough. <laughs> if reaction channels are so interesting on their own, good luck vlogging because I am out of here. Or good luck picking apart my past. Okay. Also, when I do get back to Canada, what happened when you get back to Canada? I thought you were done. I thought you were going to live in the Middle East forever. No more Western world for you. Okay. When I do get back to Canada, I will be pursuing a defamation case against a certain vile dump truck as well as emotional damages. Just wait. Yeah, I'll keep waiting. <laughs> For what? Animal abuse allegations, which are 100% false and now confirmed by an actual doctor. Animal control came three times and reported no neglect or abuse. No, that's not true. They reported that none of you idiots would open the door. How can you check for abuse when there's a door separating you from the animals? Period. Your chin literally shakes when you talk and you have the nerve to body shame anyone, you manly pillowcase. <laughs> Excuse me? Manly pillowcase? You know, I've been called a lot of things in my 38 years. I have never been called a pillowcase in my life. I'm a manly pillowcase. Okay. <clears throat> For years, all of you have been a part of mine and my cat's lives. You saw how much I love them, aka you saw me dip my fat hand into a bag of treats 16 times a day and make a little pile in front of my cats. Yell at them and, and uh, annoy them or push them out of the way. Huh? When I was trying to stream, uh, you also saw how my mental was on and off good and bad. I have never abused my animals. The cat's nails was not intentional neglect. Whatever you say, liar. Google an elderly cat's nails. Sam's were fine. If I abuse and starve my cats, animal control would have taken them the three times they came to our home. They never went inside. Stop lying. Do I need to produce their records? Yeah, produce their records. Produce their vet records. That's what I'd like to see. Hmm? I want to see the vet, like what the vet wrote up the last time you went and they had to pull the nails out of their feet. Pull that up, big mouth. Saying I starved my cats is defamation. No, it's not. It's on live stream because Pete's was live and letting us know that the cats had no food until somebody in the audience sent food to your front door. The cat hadn't eaten in days. Pete's let us know. It's all on live stream. Um... It's defamation. And every penny you made exploiting my cat will come back. Back implies you ever had it or ever would. When I sue the raggedy Adidas shirt off of your back. Why would you sue the shirt off of my back, bitch? You'll never fit into it. There's no point. Did I let the house get messy and neglect the cleanliness of their eating area sometimes? Yes. But they were always fed. No. When I enter a deep depression, even cleaning the villa became too much. And yes, mental health is a valid excuse for neglecting your life. It might be a, a valid excuse for neglecting your life. But when you are responsible for two other lives, it is not a valid excuse for neglecting theirs. If you are too depressed or too whatever to take care of the two animals, you should have given them away years ago. You don't neglect animals to the level that we at least know that you neglected BBJ and then turn around when caught neglecting your animals, throw up your hands and go, my mentals. Remember what you said about your best friend? His mental health is not your responsibility. Your mental health is none of my interest. I don't give two shits about your mental health, but I do care about pets being tortured at the hands of neglectful narcissistic, selfish, stupid fucking owners. And that's you. As I said a million times, when I videoed Pete's from Kuwait, he showed me her nails and they were fine. No, they weren't. And they weren't fine before you left. You didn't look at the cat's nails before you left because according to the vet, the nails had been embedded in her feet for months. 
uh, or at least look that way. Elderly cats' nails grow coarser and longer than younger cats. I clipped their nails with Pete's before I left for Kuwait. That is a flat out lie. You never clipped their nails before you left. You didn't fucking do that. Stop lying, Chantal. You didn't do shits for the cats. Nothing. Nothing. You're, you're now saying that you clipped their nails before you left, but you have also used an excuse as an excuse for not taking BBJ to the vet and clipping her nails that she screams every time they touch her feet. So which one is it? Does she scream every time she, they touch her feet and that's why they wouldn't cut her nails or you wouldn't take her to cut her nails? Or did you actually cut her nails before you left? You didn't. You couldn't have. Had you cut her nails before you left, they wouldn't have been growing into the bottom of her feet by the time I got her. It is what it is. You can't lie on that story. I didn't know that elderly cat's nails needed to be trimmed every two to three weeks, which is why they were so overgrown and Sam's were fine. Actually, according again to what you have told us, you did know how fast they grew because the last time you took her to get her nails clipped, you said it yourself that they told you how fast elderly cat's nails grow because they don't claw at things anymore. They made you aware of that. You've said it before on video quite a few times, like since the BBJ incident. So now you're going to turn around and pretend like you didn't know, even though you have said on video multiple times that you did know. So which one is it, liar? I got home and because on video her nails were fine, I didn't check them right away. When I did check them and saw them overgrown, I immediately made a call to her vet and made the appointment. You made an appointment? You didn't make an appointment when you saw her nails. You made a desperate appointment when you were going to give her away because you didn't want to give her away. What you made wasn't an appointment to clip her nails. You made an end of life consultation. That's what your appointment was for. You slipped and said it the other day. I don't know. Those two things don't really go in the same sentence. End of life consultation and nail clipping. You had no intention of clipping her nails. You had every intention of offing her. It is what it is. And when you saw the state of her nails, only an asshole would make a regular vet appointment. See how I got the cat and within an hour, I could tell there was something wrong with her feet. And even though I don't know shit about cats, we made an emergency vet appointment for the next day. Because why would you leave the cat suffering like that? You just make an, a normal appointment for your cat that happens to fall on the exact same day that you're giving her away. That's a little too convenient for me, liar. To say I intentionally caused BBJ's pain is defamation and bullshit. Some of you have elder abuse charges and have the nerve to come for me over animal neglect that isn't even intentional. Um, intentional. You lazy fucking bitch. It is fucking intentional. You said that you were told about the goddamn cat's nails almost two years ago. If you chose not to stay up on that, that's intentional. When you got that pretty litter and the point of the pretty litter is that the, the piss turns the cat litter blue when they have an infection and you saw blue litter in that box, you should have taken the fucking cats to get them treated for the infection. You didn't do that. You let an infection fester. You let the, the nails growing into the feet fester. You let the filthy fucking ears fester. You let the rotting mouth fester. You let all that shit go. And now you're going to try and say it wasn't intentional? You're a narcissistic pig. You didn't want to spend a penny on something that you couldn't potentially have sex with or eat. And that's why you never took care of your fucking cats. The cats only lived to give you love. When you had no one and you had nothing and you were lonely, they were there. Oh, baby Jane, Sam, you love them so much when you needed them. When they needed you, you weren't there. You were only worried about what you were going to stuff in your holes. Don't fucking change the story and don't try and pretend like this wasn't done intentionally. Before rehoming her, I clearly stated to the liar who took her, I was concerned about the nails. Yeah, at two something in the morning. At two something in the morning on the day that you're abandoning that cat, you message the new owner about the nails. Why? Because you panicked at two something in the morning when you noticed her nails growing into her feet and you knew that the new owner would have something to say about it. You were freaking out in the middle of the night. Two something in the morning is when she warned the new owner. Uh, I was concerned about the nails and her health and wanted to take her to the vet. She is not 21. She's 18 at the most, probably 17. If I was starving her, how did she live this long? Because you only started starving her the last week she was with you because you were trying to 
build your case for that end of life consultation. You wanted her to look weak. You wanted her to seem frail. It would have got along with your argument to the vet. Oh, and she won't weak. Uh, she won't eat. And look how weak she's become. That was for you to get your way and be able to kill your cat. We know again that the cat was being starved. Pete's let us know there was no cat food. You were in uh, Cornwall with your mother. Uh, if I was one, okay. Both my pets always looked extremely happy in all photos and videos. No, they didn't. In my opinion, her pets always looked bored. Neither pet ever had any kind of stimulation. Uh, Sam randomly just strumming on, on uh, like uh, countertops constantly because he had nothing to do, no toys, nobody to play with, nothing, nothing. And BBJ just lived her life coping with the pain in the best way that she could. Don't act brand new about this shit. The only scammer is FFG who thinks she will get away with what she did in the long term. Did what? Saved a fucking cat's life? Yeah. I think I'll get away with it in the long term. Again, just wait, Danny DeVito looking freak. Also, you shame our home and look at where you streamed with Cokehead Shannon. There was a literal old towel hanging from the window. You want to talk about windows? <laughs> Are you sure you want to go there, Chantal? You're talking about windows now? I don't know. When I turned around at Shannon's house, I saw curtains hanging in the window. You have a fucking tarp covering that weird little one window in your living room cell of a home that you probably don't even have a key to open like the front door. You're really going to talk about people's windows right now and what's covering them? Pfft. And you drove high. I absolutely did not. You're full of shit. Stop projecting your weird shit, your weird, just irresponsible behavior shit onto everyone else. More hypocrisy. Obviously, the cat at 18 is going to have a myriad of health problems. She is 18. Untreated health problems is where we have a problem with it. Uh, that about Maggie. If you are a better pet owner, chain-smoking, pelican, neck idiot, where is Ollie and your dead dog? Okay, so one had terminal illness that you kept inhumanely alive like you are doing to BBJ with the irreversible health issues she has. But what about dog number two? You killed it. You let your Ollie suffer, bitch. So zombie supporters need to shut the fuck up about me being a cat killer when your cult leader literally killed two. <laughs> I will say nothing. I smell bait. And like I said, she's worn that button out. <laughs> Just remember when you smell like piss in hell where it's coming from, right? Ollie! <laughs> Chantal. Well done. I I I, <laughs> I don't know what to say because I'm staying calm and not smashing the computer right now. <laughs> Where were we? <laughs> uh -huh. Beyond the messy, dry cat food area from having a messy home when I could barely function myself, pig. Pig says she could barely function, threw down cat food on a fucking piece of cardboard for her cats, has the audacity to talk about how other people take care of their pets. If you had the nerve to be flexing on a pig in the attic that you were making twenty twenty six thousand dollars $26,000 a month on YouTube, you could have paid someone to come and clean, but you were too cheap because the person who would come and clean wasn't going to cook you food and wasn't going to have sex with you. So why would you spend money on that, right? Mental health shaming is so cool, guys. Fuck you and your fucking mental health. How's that for shaming? No one fucking cares. Your mental health is not our responsibility, not our problem, and no one gives a fuck, Chantal, for real, for real. And from the nails, which is ignorance on my part, I have always, ignorance implies you didn't know any better. You've said on video multiple times that you did know better. The vet told you you can't claim into ignorance. Shut up. Uh, I have always loved and cared for my pets, so much so that BBJ lived 18 years, and that's despite you, not because of you. I hope using caps will help you understand, because nothing else, else does. The only reason that ugly pillowcase stole my cat is to use it 
in her hate campaign against me, and all you morons fell for it. You don't see videos of BBJ. All you see is a shit update picture, and of course, the vet will find things wrong. She is 18, for fuck's sake. Okay, she wants a video. Now, BBJ is in retirement. We're not putting her out of her way to make videos, but the ex-owner does want to see a video of her cat her ex cat. So you know what we'll do? Like I said, BBJ has an appointment next week. I will get that Gucci collar on BBJ's cute little neck and we will make a cute little video taking BBJ to the vet to get her little, the shot for her uh, arthritis. Hmm? Let's see. Let's see if the owner likes that or if he, seeing that fucking Gucci collar around her neck makes this one have an aneurysm. Hmm? Be careful what you wish for, pig. Uh, I am done letting this stupid platform of vampires and hate disgusting weirdos damage my mental health further. Go on, just boozing. Use this rage to feed your kid, you weirdo. And Missy Moo, Missy Poo, you Islamophobic weirdo. Oh, now Pissy Poo is Islamophobic too? Interesting. You make fun of my abaya because they're ugly. But nice tablecloth you wore in your previous stream with... 12 viewers enjoy this rage because it's the last you will hear from me sure <laughs> i tried one final time but i'm 100 done even the money is not worth it anymore what money bitch <laughs> salad made bank anyway this ramadan so i don't care about money <laughs> improving my life offline is the only way right now Oh, gee, look at this. My pets look so neglected and abused. Messy poo, your animals look more unkempt always than mine ever did, hypocrite. You people are weird and sick, and no matter how messy my life is, at least I don't take part in hate campaigns. Sure. Doxing people, doxing uh, retirement homes, all kinds of shit. You are all complicit in poor BBJ having to live her last days with a toxic chain smoker whose man is her brother. <laughs> you fucking weirdo. Nice. Explains the hills have eyes genetics going on. No, it doesn't. Are you stupid, Funko Baby? Ah, I guess this kind of explains, you know, why brother and sister shouldn't have babies. Speak to your, your stupid shmee and your idiot uncle father about that. Um, ma'am. That wouldn't have affected my genetics, <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> Yours, however, with your half fucking toes and your weird fucking eyelids and your non-functioning brain cells, I really, what interesting, eh? In one post, she talks about windows and she talks about funkle genetics. Are you sure you want to go there, you fucking broke bum bitch funkle baby loser locked in a fucking windowless cell talking mad shit about other people's lives? Happy birthday, asshole. <laughs> anyway, I wish my Beezers well, but I have to do this for myself. So here are the cats. They do look exceptionally nice in this photo. BBJ does look dirty. Um, Maybe it's the lighting. I don't know. I can't say much about Sam. I don't know Sam like that, but I do know BBJ. And she looks dirty. And I just know, looking at this picture, her feet hurt, her joints hurt, her ears hurt. Her UTI hurts. She's not eating the right food. She's not taking meds for the thyroid. So no, I don't think she looks all that. But maybe that's my bias. I don't know. Mm. Uh, so that was the insanity on the community tab. Now that we've read it, let me hit refresh. I was afraid to hit refresh in case she deletes because, you know, she's a pussy. <laughs> oh, she has not posted anything else. Great. Lala, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. I'm sorry. Now I'm so fucking behind on the chat. Vitamin Chaos, thank you for the super chat. Appreciate it. <laughs> Pixie, thank you again, girl. Do I need to crochet a side pony hat? Oh my God, it would be so cute with little holes for her ears to come out. Can you even imagine? Can you even imagine? I'm losing my shit. <laughs> Cuteness overload. I need to punch something. What? <laughs> okay, yeah. So the, keep in mind, this is her birthday. This is her birthday. And that's the way she chose to behave what she chose to do, what was running through her head on her birthday, fries, as usual. I live rent-free, rent free. I know she wants me. She'll never have me. The obsession is getting kind of, kind of creepy, saying things like defamation when you then again accuse me of murdering two dogs after you've accused me of murdering a man and grooming a child. Sure, idiot, talk about defamation. <laughs> 
I swear to God, I'm going to end up with the Kia. The Kia will be mine. I don't want the fucking Kia. I don't care about a hoopty. I'll use the Kia as like a, a park place saver for my good car that I enjoy. <laughs> There's a parking problem in my neighborhood. So you leave, you go to work, you're fucked when you get home. I'll use the shit box to keep my fucking parking spot while I go to work, you broke bum bitch. I swear to God, I'll have every fucking thing you own. I'm going to have all the fucking ham clothes. Just out of spite. I'll burn that shit, but I'll fucking take it from you. Understand. Bun Captor, thank you for the super chat. Appreciate it. Just don't adopt Pete. Ugh, phew, over my dead body. I like animals, not useless men children. Cam, thank you for the super chat. She did call me. She called me a dump truck and a fucking manly uh, pillowcase. I, I don't even get that. A manly pillowcase. What does that mean? <laughs> Patricia, thank you for the super chat, girl. I appreciate it. She's like mad, mad. Or she's not nearly that mad. She just needed an out. She didn't want to go to the gym today. So this was sort of like false outrage so that she could pretend to be this mad to salad to get out of going up to the gym. And another thing. It's the 28th of the month. Maybe this fake quitting bullshit is just so that every time she comes back, she thinks people will go and watch the video. You know, like when she quits and then she goes live, she thinks everyone's going to like rush over there to watch. That might be a play. It's the end of the month. She likes to end the month strong. She's already quit four times in 12 days. It feels like a move, you know? My Torben, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it, girl. Bingo, you think that's it? I'm really thinking that's it. Even after reading that, there's, there's nothing new there in that whole last book. She spent a whole of her birthday writing a whole book for nothing. It's the same old, same old. Big deal. Uh, Leung Babe and Oscar, thank you for the super chat, girl. Sam's nails were fine. Frenchie, please zoom in on Sam's picture. Oh, really? I thought Sam's nails were fine. Whose nails weren't fine besides BBJ was Timbit. Poor Timbit. Timbit's nails looked as bad as BBJ's. Timbit had, in my opinion, the worst, um, just the worst life of all of them. Because on top of all the pain and all the untreated everything going on, Timbit was also locked in that one filthy, disgusting room. It does make it slightly worse, in my opinion. Poppy Cats, thank you for the super chat. Appreciate it. Yes, she absolutely did drug shame Shannon. Yeah, and committed defamation against me. Yeah, I don't know who the fuck she thinks she's suing, but I would literally love to see her waste that money. Alan, thank you for the super chat. Appreciate it. Manly Pillowcases merch. I'm in. What does a manly pillowcase even mean? Like, I don't know. I picture it like a lumberjack's jacket, you know, like that red and like red and black squares sort of. <laughs> I don't know. That's the only thing that popped into my mind. Pillowcase Pondu. Thank you for the super sticker. I appreciate it. What money? But I'm Ching. <laughs> KBS, you got me. Lord Baroque, king of the Arpies. Thank you for the super king. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. Beanbag needs to learn what literally means. Yeah, I know, eh? She just loves to throw out that word. Literally, everything is literally. You are literally a pillowcase. Oh, am I, bitch? Okay, put your fucking pillow in me then. If I'm literally a pillowcase, you, you literal moron. Stella, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. Oh, you sound like my mother. My mom's been saying that to me my entire life. Like I wasted my potential not being a lawyer. I just like to argue. I don't know, but I, I, I don't like to be on the bad guy's side. So I went to made the big money, apparently. I've been hearing this my whole life, though. Thanks for saying that, Stella. Phoenix Flying, thank you for the super chat. Anyone buying any of her sick lies is as twisted as she is. Yeah, agreed. I think she's hoping there's some, you know, where she seems to be often lately talking to a non-existent new audience. Maybe that's what that whole rant was for. If there's like 10 people out there who don't know what an animal neglecting piece of shit she is, she can convince them. Maybe it was all for them. Who knows? It's a lot of writing for 10 people. Ariella Ruda, thank you for the super chat. Just something to send you a message that I think you're awesome. Why, thank you so much. That's really nice of you to say. Thank you, girl. And thanks for being here. West Coast girl, thank you for the super chat. I learned something today. Pillowcases are male and female. Who knew? Right? I don't know. I have boobs. Wouldn't that automatically make me like a female pillowcase? I don't know. Wouldn't you rest your head on the boobs? It seems like the natural place to rest. You, you get a little sleep in, maybe you motorboat a little bit. All I'm saying is I would I would imagine I would be a female pillowcase if I was one. 
Killer Queen, thank you for the super chat. Why, yes, I am weird and sick. <laughs> thank you so much, Killer Queen. We all are here. <laughs> this is why we all get along. Huh? I think so. Pixie, thank you again for the super chat. I will do the crochet hat with mini light side pony. That's so sweet of you. Thank you so much, Pixie. She will wear it well. Chantal is not bobbing for apples. Never has been and never will be. Thank you for the super chat. I'm sorry I added on to your name, but seems fitting. I will take the Kia. Okay, we're just doing Kia. You get a Kia and you get a Kia. Everybody gets a piece of Chantal shit. Yay. Kia's yours. <laughs> I love it. Oh my God. All right. I'm, it's like, I don't want to watch this because I know how boring it's going to be. I'm stalling. We have a react to get to. It's her birthday stream. It's really bad. I haven't watched it, but of course I saw a little bit on, twi on uh, Twitter. <laughs> Loser robots there. He's got the fucking keyboard out and he's playing her happy birthday. And I'm not even fucking kidding. So like, we have to watch it. We have to watch it. It's Raptor Chick, babe. Thank you for the super chat. Okay. I guess we're going to have to make it. Listen. It's, it's rare that I get called something so crazy. Lotus Flower Buddha, thank you for the super chat. Does it sound hot? I don't know. You tell me. I don't know how I feel about that, honestly. Kate Lynx, thank you for the super chat. Proud to be weird and sick. Same Z's. <laughs> High five. Vitamin Chaos, thank you for the super chat. Where's your manly pillowcase chins, Red Room? <laughs> he absolutely is. And he's motorboating in there, too. Bloop. Bug love, thank you for the super chat. Go ahead and try to sue Foodie Beauty. We will have a GoFundMe set up fast for illegal expenses. It will make you dizzy. Go ahead, test my theory. She doesn't have the money to even get a fucking lawsuit going. She's so pathetic. Rally Point, thank you for the super chat. Salad finally gets to come to Canada. Never gonna happen. Never gonna happen. Very good. Thank you for the super chat. Chantal, your parents are brother and sister. Absolutely. Half toes, weird puffy eyes, not a functioning brain cell up there. Boom. I rest my case. <laughs> That's lawyer talk right there. Alexandra, thank you for the super chat. Where's your man, Chantal? Hmm? Where's your Gucci gift on your birthday? Because your fucking ex-cat got one. Jealous. Lala, thank you for the super chat. BBJ will never be kicked by a man again. Absolutely. BBJ is like a little ninja. BBJ would do all the kicking now. She's got her feet working nice. Oh, you better not get on her backside. She'll fucking roundhouse kick you right in the jugular. You better watch it. BBJ is like, uh, woo, nuts. <laughs> Living her best life and making up for lost time. Kestrel, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. You paid for 38 Shelter Cats adoption at our local shelter. That's so cool. Wow. Thank you so, so much for doing that. That is an amazing gesture. Thank you. Holy crap. Holy crap, 38 shelter cats adoption. That is really, really overwhelming. Thank you so, so much for your generosity and for thinking of doing that. It's so cool. So cool. I love that. Thank you again. Sam, I am. Thank you for the super chat. You just discovered Chantal about a month ago and discovered you in the process. And I'm forever a fry girl. Well, welcome to the deep fryer. Welcome to the girl gang. Thanks for being here. New little Bambi. We love having a new Bambi in the group. Thanks for being here, girl. Jen, thank you for the super chat. A little something for BBJ's caller. Thanks. Oh, wait, thankfully my birthday tomorrow. Oh, well, happy early birthday to you. <gasps> Look at you. You guys were almost birthday twins. Whew, you missed that one, eh? You. <laughs> happy early birthday. Have a great day tomorrow. Phoenix Flying, thank you for the super chat. Boy and his grandma. Uh, grandma. What's wrong with me? Boy and his grandma birthday special. Love that for them. How quaint. How sickeningly quaint. Ashley, thank you for the super chat. Yes, that's really nice of you. In memory of sweet Timbet. Poor Timbet. I think Timbet had the most miserable existence of the three of the cats, and none of them had great ones. So that's really saying something, you know? Yeesh. Yeesh. Anywho. Wait, I volunteered to spend time walking dogs at our local SPCA for the next month. Megan Fox, that is so fucking cool. Thank you so much for doing that. Really, really nice of you to give your time in that way. Thank you. Awesome. Oh, Lizzie, I have the best birthday twin. FFG, we're Scorpio queen. Spike, spike, spike. Well, 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 birthday twin. <laughs> you know, I love the number one. And to be born on 111, it's no fucking accident. Ha, you know, I don't know what to say. We do have the best birthday. And most serial killers are born in November. Make what you want with that information. 
pivoting. All right, let me get the tab. We're going to watch this fucking birthday stupid shit and get the hell out of here. Okay, hold on. Hello, guys. <laughs> Oh, thanks, Uliga. I forgot. What, I'm like, I knew my birthday was soon, and I keep saying I got this for my birthday. I got this for my birthday, but I didn't realize that my birthday was like now. So, <laughs> oh my gosh, it's my birthday. So, oh my god, yeah, the stream. Oh wow, it's my birthday. That's what it's called. As if she forgot, like it was her birthday, and as if this hadn't been planned all day. Like, oh, let me go live in the evening on my birthday. They'll they'll give me my ass pats and super chats. That's why she went live and acting like, oh my God, <laughs> I forgot me. The narcissistic witch forgot that it was my birthday. So, um, yeah, so Law suggested playing um, a song, happy birthday song for me. For and our baby. <laughs> <laughs> we already lost the brains. And then I'm going to have Suhu. Oh, that nightmare ghost face gamer. Hey, welcome, welcome. The very important piece is ready to be ease. Hello, Crispy. Hey, Gemini. Oh, hi, users. A plus. Joy your anniversary, my CBA. Happy Thanks, birthday. Boots. Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> hi, Kelly. Thank you all. Aries gang, yeah. I know. Gang, gang, it's piano time. You said fries wrong, ma'am. You are fry gang, and we don't want you in the fry gang, but you branded yourself with the fried tattoo anyway. Fry gang. All right, he's got the Casio out. He's so fucking excited to do this. Oh. <laughs> you know, it's, it's the one real benefit of having a, a musician in the family hmm? at these family gatherings, special times like birthdays, uh, they can bust out a little musical rendition of a happy birthday one-handed on a fucking Casio. Time. Yeah, he's just going to play happy birthday then we're going to eat so cool. Uh, You know, <laughs> it's already three. Okay, baby, you want to hit it? He's going to do Arabic style. Hi, baby mama. Thank you. Love goddess. Hello. Georgia, thank you guys for the birthday wishes. Do you know how old I am today? 39! One more year closer to 40. You are no longer my same age. I can go back to saying, well, she's older than me. I'm younger than Chantal, but I used to fucking do that until I turned 38 too. But you are 39 now, bitch! You are fucking old. <laughs> she's not, but older than me. That's what counts. You are 39! One step closer to 40. You love to make fun of women in their 40s, and here you are knocking on its door. I can't wait. The day this bitch turns 40, oh, we have to celebrate. Because she has mocked people in their 40s as if she wasn't right there. Oh, 39 going on 80. <laughs> Not wrong. Uh, Morgan Vincent, thank you for the super chat. Boyfriend and I just moved in together, and until now, girl world has been my dirty little secret. He caught me watching while cleaning, and now he's into it. I love that. Morgan Vincent's boyfriend, welcome to the Fry Gang. <laughs> I like that he got into it and, like, you two didn't get into it, you know? We love a supportive partner in this channel. Hi, Dream. 29. 29, yeah. <laughs> Your age. <laughs> I wish. <clears throat> Hi, Mimi. Hi. <clears throat> well... <laughs> Sabre, I thought it was the 28th. My bad. Happy birthday. It is the okay, so it's not the 28th for you guys. Hi, Trixie. Um, I got my birthday on. Yeah. It's uh it's actually the 28th here. It's 3 a.m. on the 28th. A crazy frog 10 hour loop. Yeah, and uh, I think in our time now it's uh 20 uh 28. Yes. KBS, that's so funny. Thank you for the super chat. Immediately when I read your uh, comment, okay, him playing this, it's like a bad SNL skit. I got one skit in my mind. Chris Kattan, and I can't remember who else was in it. And they used to sing this stupid song with a Casio hanging off of somebody's neck. I wish it was Christmas today. Do, 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 do. Does anyone remember that? Don't leave me hanging like I'm stupid. Okay. <laughs> <Let> me... <laughs> it's exactly the quality of the music that he plays on that fucking keyboard. He is... An SNL skit. Holy shit. Yeah. 28. <laughs> and your time, guys, it's still 27. Yes. Hi, Lyndon, Deirdre. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> still 27. But for us, yeah. Um, so we have some some treats for Suhoor. And uh, because I'm going to the gym tomorrow and, you know. And, you know, guys, Suhoor is the meal before uh, starting fasting. Yeah. Yes. No one cares, robot. 
nobody important. Thank you. Super chat. 11 months. Happy birthday, beautiful. I hope you have a wonderful day. My birthday is April 1st. No way. Nice. Sending Aries love. My blessings to you. Thank you, Numi. Ready, set, read bees. Thank you for always being a beezer. And um, Golden Girl, hi. Thank you, LD's wig. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Happy birthday, Queen Beezer. Thank you. Yes. Oh, my God. Plutes Magoots, you got it. Jimmy Fallon and Horatio Sands. You're right. You're right. The meaning of that, I was saying, <clears throat> you know, I thought to myself, you know, the biggest gift I can give myself is health journey. So, um, hi, Rhonda. Thank you. Yeah. So I figure, you know, all your dinner, we're all going to eat together. I figure the biggest gift I can give myself is doing, trying to do better on my birthday. Why not? Although. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. Ever. Oh, you don't go to the gym. It's now your first Ramadan. You're already struggling and sweating and everything. You're going to the gym for the first time on your birthday. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. You take a day off of the gym on your birthday. What the fuck is wrong with you? AC Hill, thank you for the super chat. Oh, are we going out for dinner tomorrow? I don't remember. Oh, Inshallah. No, we'll see what we're doing. I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. I want to eat healthy, though. <laughs> <laughs> you can wait for your birthday. What? Oh, <laughs> What's on the back of your hijab? Okay, so this- Mandy, thank you for the super chat. I'm kind of lazy, guys. I um. Golden girl, hi. Yeah. <clears throat> hi, golden girl. This is my, um. you remember these hats I used to wear? Well, this is like an, I have my hijab on under it, but I have this on top. <clears throat> Salah's cooking me dinner. <laughs> what do you need something on top? Is, is There's something I'm not understanding here. If you have the hijab on, is that not enough? You take the hat off. You're sweating. Look how red you are in the face. Take layers off. Why are you adding things for nothing? It doesn't make sense. <laughs> FFG, everything she says is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Fair. Fair. I got nothing to say to that. You're right. Flower Power, thank you for the super chat, girl. Mimi, member for three months. Poppy Pickles is the biggest gift you can get. <laughs> Your Poppy Pickles. Oh, sorry. Guys, what do you think of this? Like, this is his color. Is it not? This, like, hunter green? I love this color on him. First of all, that's not hunter green, you fucking idiot. That's like a camo green, number one. Dusty, musty, matches your sketchers. I mean, is that his color? No. What the, what the shit? What the shit? You know, nothing about nothing. Fool. A sadder repurpose. Thank you for the super chat. Oh, listen, I'm not shaming 40. I'm fucking 38 too. 40 means nothing. I'm saying it in her context because she was constantly ragging on Dee Dee being in her 40s. She comes for women all the time, like, in your in middle-aged, in your late 40s and stuff. Well, bitch, you're knocking on 40s door now. Knock, knock. I love this style. <laughs> I love Poppy Pickles. Actually, speaking of which, guess what we have. Okay, babe. I want to hear my... This is Arabic style. Happy birthday. Guys, you ready? Ready. Let's wait for them. Ramona Blue, <laughs> hello. Pickle colored shirt for Poppy Pickles. Yeah. <laughs> Pizza Kitty, thank you for the super chat, girl. Thank you, Golden Girl. That means a lot. His shirt is matching my eyes. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's an oversized sock. I like the style. I'm a trendsetter. Peter Steele Green. Yeah. Oh, yes, Sabre. Yeah. Okay, we're all ready, right, guys? I think they're ready. Gemini, nice color on him. Thank you. Yes. Chantal's little tooth. Thank you for the super chat. Oh, okay. God. Okay. He's turning on the cast. Yo. Ready? Count down. From five, yellow. Oh, five, four, three, yellow. <laughs> yellow. <laughs> Confetti cannon, thank you. All right, let's count down. Hi, Glam Gal. Yes, it looks really nice. Let's go. We are ready. Let's jam. <laughs> five. Five. <laughs> Come on, guys. Four. four <laughs> three. Two. One. Five. All right, let's go. This is not a happy birthday. I hate it already. <laughs> Why did I know? Who knew that was going to be the music? I knew it. I fucking knew he would start that. Da, 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 da. So every single time. Is this all you know how to do, my guy? West Coast Girl, thank you for the super chat. Oh my god, no, 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 you are not singing through 
Happy birthday to you. No. Big Capri Sun, thank you for the super chat, girl. <laughs> this is fucking crazy. I can't. He's playing with one hand, y'all. He's playing with one hand. Wait, I got to take this off so you can watch the one arm moving to keep the other one free, you know, for jerking off to himself in the camera. Oh, wait a minute. We got to see that kiss again. Hold on. Hold on. Excuse me. She's waited her lifetime for this moment. She thought he was going to kiss her on the lips. <laughs> that, that was the most awkward thing I've ever seen in my life. Is this the first time either one of you is having any like human contact? Because it, <laughs> it looks like the robot got programmed but has never been tested. This is the worst thing I've ever seen ever. Ever. Make a fucking community tab about it, okay? One-handed... Just horrific keyboard version of happy birthday. And then a kiss awkward on the forehead. Oh, no. Is this why she's so mad today? <laughs> Sloop, thank you for the super chat. Oh, I want to cry because honestly, you're like the biggest birthday gift ever. Thank you. you. Oh, you're such a fucking idiot. That was the best birthday present she's ever got. <sighs> that was the fakest thing anyone's ever said. Slash, if this is the best thing you ever got for your birthday, girl. Girl. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> a one-handed rendition of a weird version of happy birthday is your best birthday gift ever. <laughs> She just climaxed. No. <laughs> Fuck, man. Chantal's little too. Thank you again for the super chat. She's so embarrassed. You can see the cringe. Is it cringe? It could be cringe. Oh, God. I'm fucking embarrassed for her, and I'm not aware if she's embarrassed. Baby, that's so nice. Oh, Good my service, gosh. Baby. Thank you. I love you. <laughs> I love you more. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, that's, yeah, you're weak. <laughs> Hello, Diego. Ramona, best moment of the live stream. That was so sweet. Oh my gosh. Oh, you're so handsome. Okay. <laughs> oh no. No. I, I want to crawl into my shirt. I'm so embarrassed for her right now. Thank you, baby. You're so handsome. And her carer gets a napkin to dab the sweat off of her face. No. No, I'm so mortified. This can't be real. This is why she keeps deleting it and then putting it back up on her channel. Is it deleted right now? This, she's been ping-ponging this bullshit. Wait a minute. Oh my God, it's still up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> be proud of your robot. Capricorn NJ, thank you for the super chat, girl. <laughs> You feel shy, baby. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Blushing lids. Okay. Nobody's ever sung, sang to me like that. Thank you. All right, guys. There's not much open right now. I'm gushing, you know. So sweet. <laughs> thank you, Mimi. Thank you, Rhonda. Salah, we love you all. Thank you. Yes, thank you, guys. Hannibal's, yeah, I know. At a restaurant, it's kind of embarrassing, eh? The hell out to keep his stand. <laughs> I don't think there's such thing, is there? Okay, look at this. And another reason we're soulmates is we both like the same kind of olives. <laughs> Typical man. You love these olives, babe? These are Turkish olives. Yeah, Turkish olives. Nice. Oh, Diego. Mm -hmm. Loyalty bees are 10 months. Ready, set, read these, Diego. Thank you. I love you guys. <clears throat> what a man, what a mighty fine man. I, I know. <laughs> Ew. No. No. He's really not, and please don't ruin that song for me. The amount of like buff and hot I picture with that song. I no, I, I can't see him right now. You're ruining it. Don't ruin it for me. Vitamin Chaos, thank you for the super chat girl. Yeah, LD, no problem. Thanks for hanging out with us, guys. Because um 
So we have a vegetable pizza, small, we're gonna share. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Tear drip. I don't think so. How nasty, eh? Ah, oh, Flirty Hershey, thank you for the super chat. I don't know much about some of you guys, I guess, but I love you. Pepperoni. Okay. <clears throat> That was funny. The way she's like, we got a small vegetarian pizza. We're going to share it. Implies like, okay, just one small pizza to share. And then there's a second pizza. And then God only knows. Like, she always tries to minimize everything. But where's the minimizing? And I requested this as a side. Let's start with some of this. You chosen this one? Yeah. Okay. The vegetable one. This is my favorite fatire ever. It's labna falafel. Oh. <laughs> It's Rob the Chick Babe. Thank you for the super chat. That's funny. Yes, a baya. It's a body. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of use of magic mic. Pizza party. Oh, from here. So, because oh. you block the camera. Baby. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you want a big piece? Yellow. Yellow. You're like goofy ass laugh. I hate him. Lord Baroque. Thank you for the super chat. Change someone's opinion from of Chantal from gross to hate and gross. Awesome. Love it. And maybe three community posts. P.S. I do animal caregiving locally for money and Arby's. That's awesome. Is it like a thing where they can pay you in money or is it like an and or or an or situation? You can pay me. This is the amount if it's in cash and this is the amount if it's in Arby's. No judgment. That's a thing. There's a whole ass criminal lawyer in Montreal who works at the courthouse. I'm like, People can like hire him and shit, and uh, you can pay him in cash or cocaine. It's a thing. Thanks, Toriana. I mean, we were going to do a live anyway, and then I was like, oh my gosh, it's my birthday. <laughs> oh, Zulega. <laughs> Thank you, Zulega. That's such a cute uh, sticker, super sticker. That's so sweet. Who would have thought on your last birthday, you're like, what happened to my birthday last year? I don't remember. But no, this is a very different one. Baby names. Olivia if a girl, match boost if a boy. <laughs> Did you call your son match boost? No. <laughs> Harry match boost. Delicious. Thank match you, boost. Zulega. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a plus. Gee, member for 12 months loyalty bees are wow. Thank you so much. Ready, set, rebees. Some of you have been beezers for so long. Welcome, welcome. <clears throat> Oh, it plus. And it was for my birthday? Oh. Hi, basic. Heather. The um yeah, I know Ramona. I'd like to forget about Cuba. <laughs> um the fasting is not bad because as you can see, we're eating two pizzas before super. I mean before fasting. This will keep me satiated. One stop. Oh my gosh, the so yeah. So babe, I lost my channel. I lost my channel. And then on my birthday, right on my birthday at midnight, mm -hmm. it came back. Whoa. And for YouTube to reinstate channels is rare. Inshallah, nice. <laughs> I have to remember that when I think of quitting. <laughs> like, I'm, I feel like, you know, I'm supposed to be here. Gemini, happy birthday, ma'am. I hope I got that right. Oh, Miriam. Yes. Thank you. You did. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you so you much. Right. You did get it right, Gemini. Thank you so much for your kindness. Golden girl. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I completely just 100% dipped out of the stream for a minute. My phone was ringing. I didn't want to say anything. I'm back here now. Uh... Oh. For 10 months. Mm. Nice. <clears throat> you look so happy and beautiful. Thank you, golden girl. I love you. Ready, set, rebees. <laughs> About beautiful, she's always beautiful. Mm. Oh. oh, shut up, salad. Fuck, I dipped back in to hear that. Ugh. About beautiful, she's always beautiful. You're not even a good liar. Look at your lying face. He looks like the Grinch. He's giving Grinch face right now. Spilling tea about Cuba now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. Should have lost it after Cuba Rage, right? Yeah, totally agree. Crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't even know what to do when someone's like, when you're this nice to me, working and lurking, I've gone back to district. Oh, PNV. Uh, yeah, no me, everything happens for a reason. Yeah. Honestly? PNV. Mm -hmm. Pumpkin Princess, thank you for the super chat, girl. She is. And I just try to remember, like, any negativity that I'm faced with, I, you know, I have to just, there's nothing I can do about it. So I'm trying to control my reactions to things and just work, focus on my journey, bettering myself. Really? How's that working out? Because your community tab post today, um, 
<laughs> I think you failed again and again and again and again. You just can't like, I don't know. I don't want to say you can't be a better person. Anyone could be a better person, but you have to actually want to be a better person. And you don't, you don't think you do anything wrong. You think this is normal behavior and it's, it's really not. You're a dick. Um, you know, thinking has to be a teacher. There's got to be a reason, you know. Shakira's jam jar. Thank you for the super chat, bro. Cuba's where I started to find God. You're right because, you know, the beauty is from your eyes when Salah calls you beautiful, <laughs> and his heart and his soul. You're making me sick. Well, baby. Baby. <laughs> They're just taking turns. Oh, I'm getting like acid coming up in my pipe, baby, baby, and stuffing face. I got to skip ahead a little bit because the chewing and the babies back and forth, I'm going to vom. Okay. Would you like a piece of vegetable pizza, honey? <laughs> okay, give me one. <clears throat> Yummy, this pizza is the best one. Janet Pirate, thank you for the super chat. Sweet vintage soul. I have so many beezers. Oh, spring forward, fall back. So in the spring, because Canada has four seasons, in the spring, you move the time ahead. And then in the winter, you put it back, you lose an hour. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's happening here. I was just, as he said that, I was thinking to myself, like, there's no daylight savings time there? That's kind of weird. But there is. She's just ignorant and has no idea. I love that. In the winter, yeah, uh, one hour difference. Uh, so. Really? Mm. I think fasting would be easy for me since I literally don't eat all day. Oh, yeah, for sure. In that case, Kate Ella, it's super cold in Canada. <clears throat> really? It's cold? Yeah. Actually, yesterday in Kuwait was super raining, guys. It's become floods yeah. in the street. Oh, boo-hoo. We don't care. It's actually not super cold anymore. She left. It was still super cold. It was a beautiful day today. It was a beautiful day yesterday. I don't want to say too much. I don't want to jinx it. But it feels like spring. Woo! Astrofet, thank you for the super chat. <clears throat> Ooh, getting full. Want another vegetable? Get a plus full. puts the translation nice. Thank you, plus. Oh, thank you, A plus. The great slave you would argue to put Rosnik Brad on Mahoda. Maratins and a wheel or a wooden added a show in Kulsana. The term adopts out was me to that Rabi had to look at the Maka or the Sab Stinari and Rojo either. Okay, yeah, I got your idea. Thank you, I love when you talk. Yes, sir. Hmm? I love when you talk Arabic. Oh. <laughs> Ew. She, I love the way you talk Arabic. And she went, oh. if that's not like lusting over someone's culture, that I don't know, that just feels weird to me. It's not even cultural. It's like, it's, it's it feels wrong somehow. I love it when you talk Arabic. Oh. Like, you're gross. Fuck. You're getting zooted. You make pee. Welcome. You make mini pizzas for Howie. No. Sweaty. <laughs> Welcome to my party. I am sweaty right now. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy rain and mudslides. I That's a great point. Anonymeg, thank you for the super chat. If he was always so nice to her, why is she acting so shocked and blushing? She would be used to it by now. Seems like he only likes this for viewers. Seems like he's only like this for viewers. I totally agree with you. And that's really, that's a good that is good you are totally right about that she gets all blushy every single time in theory it's been all these months well all these months it's like four months now they've been together and married and boning if you're actually fucking somebody just touching your cheek doesn't make you turn beet red you know what i mean you got it girl anonymous egg. well said winter sun thank you for the super chat how can she have reached the age of 39 without learning even the most basic of table manners shmi <laughs> that's home training. That's things you teach children. I love this abaya, Aisha. When you go to Egypt, you're going to find a lot of abayas. I ran out of characters to write. <laughs> that's cool. Do I have any Muslim beezers? I'm not sure. Get your... Something tells me if 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 Muslims were like quiet, like they followed the religion, they wouldn't want anything to do with you or your shit. Wife a fan. Hey Sharon. He was just we were in the store today. We were talking about this one today. <laughs> about the fan. Inshallah tomorrow I'll buy the fan. Yeah, he's gonna get me a fan and a um, a new vacuum. <laughs> <laughs> and 
you know, just some things we need for the home, maybe. Because the, I have a vacuum, but the one I have is for, it's like a small, mostly for flooring. But now we have all carpet, so we used to have flooring. It's uh, chargeable. Yeah, it's nice. I bet they get the robot vacuum because they're both too lazy to actually vacuum. And when I say robot vacuum, I don't mean him. I mean one of those little Roomba things that goes around on its own. I used to really want one of those. <laughs> this is me projecting my jealousy if they get that fucking robot vacuum. Hi in a hijab. You know what? That sounds legit. She asked for birthday sex and he said, la. <laughs> He's like, no, don't touch me. So she raged. Mm -hmm. And then he walked her in the room and went to fucking the red room. Could be. I need more colorful abayas, yeah. You like this one the best? A lot of you guys liked this one the best. Hey, sweaty. Yes, pumpkin princess. Thank you for the super chat. You're right. Like like she's fetishizing him. It, 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 there was something to the tone, the way she kind of growled after saying, I love when you speak Arabic. Uh, it, was, it was like guttural. It's like animal, disgusting, you know? <laughs> Is cake next? No, tomorrow. I follow. Mm. I don't think I want cake because if I go to the gym and then I eat cake, I'll just like hate myself. So <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So instead, I'm going to eat what looks like an entire calzone and a pizza to myself. And that's not going to make me hate myself. Should have eaten the fucking cake. No. It just like undoes all the progress and does all the progress. Not the gumdrop buttons. I totally agree. This relationship is so fake. Do they have Amazon? You can order from the UAE Amazon. But there's different websites that are even better. Like, <clears throat> can he pick up Harry yet? No. <laughs> He's getting better. I come over to him with Harry and he goes like. Really? Charity McPherson. That's interesting. Thank you for the super chat. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like his demeanor completely changed when he, uh, she had to explain losing her channel last year. That's interesting. Could be. Where I find there's been a shift in his behavior towards her and his just demeanor overall is now that she's gotten what must be the worst paycheck she's probably ever had from YouTube ever. And now has to kind of justify to him like, hey, when you fat fished me, you told me you made 20 grand a month. And now I see you're making shit. Like, in my opinion, that's where his vibe kind of changed with her. KB Collision, thank you for the super chat. Thanks for being here. This. Mm hmm Olive colored hijab, yeah. Hmm. Sometimes I forget to close the cage fully. My feet are hairy, but now I'm careful. So I was praying. I'm on the couch praying, and all I hear is, and I'm like, oh no, what is that? <laughs> I don't know. His cage was here in the corner, and then he had to have somehow made it like homeward bound, the incredible journey under the couches. This is my biggest fear of him getting lost in the apartment. I look at the door and he's jumping at the door to get outside the door. Weird. So that rat fink escapes, you're fake praying or telling us that you're praying in the same room where you keep the rat fink is where you pray. What I do know is that the place where you pray is supposed to be kept exceptionally clean. AKA, I wouldn't imagine it would be the same room where you keep a rat fink. Somebody tells me that's not the cleanliness that people are looking for when they go to pray. Praying on the couch. She did say that? Oh, my God. Praying on the couch. n'importe quoi. <laughs> How do you translate that to English? Like, n'importe quoi. It's like, this is uh, n'importe quoi. I, don't, I literally don't know how to say that in English. Du n'importe quoi. It's just, it is what it is. This is nothing. This is stupid. This is n'importe quoi. Ugh. More memes. Thank you for the super chat. Then I had his cage here on the table. Salah was gaming. All I hear is Salah the hamster's out. He was eating the biscuit outside the cage. <laughs> <laughs> we have these sesame biscuits. He's shoving them in his cheeks. And I'm like, no, you bad me. Oh my God. I literally just Googled what in the fuck is du n'importe quoi in English. And it's bullshit. It literally is bullshit. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> A nice fruit cup, yeah. Or pink berry. Is pink berry healthy? The tapered arms, yeah, I like that better. The guinea pigs have escaped their cage and I look down and they're scurrying around. <laughs> really? Hi, Jen Marie, thank you. Yeah, Deirdre, that's great. I heard that. 
Rachel, I thank love you for the super chat. Getting out of breath doing absolutely nothing is her superpower. Huh? Thank you, honey. Yeah, oh, the sage green one is nice. You're welcome. Half one, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the rat. Honestly, um, nothing has been happening with that lately. It's all but he's the drain has not moved, so I'm really. Oh, Mandy, that's interesting. Thank you for the super chat. Well, we know he's not a fully practicing Muslim. He, he might cost well, cost but fake it up a little. But he fucked before marriage. There's the pictures of him in that bed with that woman. That's haram. Um, he had a fake marriage going on for some kind of. God only knows reasons, papers, business, whatever. That's all haram. Everything he does is haram. So no, he's not technically a practicing Muslim either. But to be fair, I will say this, and this is no judgment, no, no shit. I'm just saying what I've seen, okay? A lot of people who, let's say, aren't Muslim all year and don't practice all year, Ramadan comes and you, I swear to God, you would think they are like the most fucking like practicing Muslims. The way they fake it <laughs> during Ramadan. And it's almost like they think if we do Ramadan properly, it'll make up for the rest of the year. There's a exceptionally large amount of people who do that. And it's fucked. Really happy. <clears throat> so it's done. It's done deal. Are you finished eating? Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. So the pizza here is so good. He, Mimi, I swear, Harry is... Beezer. He's a beezer. He's really a beezer. Oh my god, those are so cute. Not the gumdrop buttons. Thank you for the super chat. And in the middle, it's just the, the Renaissance baby's dead face. Dead ass looking. I'm not dead face, but dead eyes. I love it. <laughs> you know. <clears throat> um I must have ketchup, Lazen. Oh my god, grandma's butt. That's so funny. She's literally pizza the hut. My aunt had her ducks clean and they found turtle shells and tarantula skeletons. Ew, they lived in the drains? Aw, turtle skeleton, turtle shells. <laughs> oh, you're going to fake cry over turtles now? Aw, turtle shells. Who remembers the stream when there were all those frogs on the road and this lunatic murderer was purposely driving over as many frogs as possible, laughing like a sociopath while she killed as many frogs as possible? I remember that stream, and now you're gonna fake off for the turtles. I don't like spiders. Harry takes after his mom. Yeah, you love this abaya the most. Oh yeah. So if you wear this shirt and I wear my green and black abaya, we'll match. So yeah. True. Oh yeah, Caitlin, that was a thing you guys eat. Hmm, our lights, our Ramadan lights. <laughs> <laughs> I really like them. Olives on pizza, yeah. Yeah, nice. <clears throat> so what was I gonna say? Oh. Driving over them while cackling like a lunatic, swerving purposely. It was the laugh like a sociopath, swerving to hit as many as possible. I have to do a video talking about my issues with food. An update from there. I still struggle, you know, obviously, but there's a lot of things I can eat, you know, like maybe some falafel with salad, some chicken, so many, like, you know, like chicken hummus. Mm -hmm. I can have the chicken breast and I can make myself a salad. Yeah. Nice. And, Why not? Yeah. And even I find satiating is potatoes. Now, not fried potatoes, but like boiled potatoes with a bit of curry and salt and pepper and some uh, low fat yogurt with mint sauce. Uh, potatoes are filling and they're actually you're going to teach us about potatoes now really you're stuffing your face on a pizza while talking to us about other food this is so unnecessary and just, uh, girl again you wonder why the money's down you wonder why your views are down this is your birthday stream and this is the best you got actually like low in fat they are like carbs but they're like high in vitamin c as well Remember, we're all human. We're all mess ups. Uh, Some way more than others. You know. Mm. I'm so happy for him, Sam. Take two salah before you go live. <laughs> yeah, he's my remedy. Yeah, he's smart that way. I can hear you. <laughs> 
What did you say? I said you're sharp. Sharper. 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 Clever. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, she takes faster bites when he's not in the room. Isn't that weird? She's so like, ugh, and uncomfortable in her own skin and like self-conscious about everything. I just don't have time. I, I hate negative vibes, you, you know? Uh, no, I'm okay, honey. Thank you. You want a big Love babe, you, honey? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. You're used to me. I saw a video. I can't believe how I used to be. At least I use a Kleenex now. I saw a video of somebody. I was like, in one sentence, I was like, I'm irresistible. And then like for a whole minute, I was picking my nose. And I'm just like, what? Yeah, that's you. Hotter than 90% of YouTube. Disgusting in every way possible. And while you were specifically on the, you didn't give a damn. You had all those fingers all up in your nose. It was so gross. Oh, God. The sniffing, the huffing, the nose blowing. Ugh. Yulia, that beach. Thank you for the super chat. She absolutely is. What did I used to do? Like, oh my god. Cocaine! That's what you did. Cocaine! <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm your special love. She's the human embodiment of fucking cocaine bear, and she's asking what the hell she used to did. Oh, what the hell she used to do? Did the fuck? We have leftover pizza. I'm gonna have one more olive. <laughs> You put ice in it? Or the mushkin? The mushkin. Uh, yeah. We stop with soda? Mm. Good, Gemini. I have to do that too. It's hard not to, but honestly, they talk so crazy. Anyone with half a brain? Yeah, Ramona. I'm trying to just focus on you guys because you guys leave me a lot of positivity and I really appreciate it for sure. <clears throat> Okay, hope flows. Listen, I love this. Where does this info come from? Not that I don't want to believe it. I definitely do. Do we know this for sure? Because that's really funny. She offered DD 2K for the necklace if she kicked a stabby out of her condo. I wouldn't be surprised. Is this real? Is this a joke going over my head? It could be. But it's also, Chantal, it's very hard to tell what's a joke and what's real. <laughs> Wanda. Does Salah ever rage? No, but I do. Guys, really, <laughs> every every positive comment, we read it, we appreciate it, really. No, yeah. Okay, Alex, is Shook mentioned it? What she used to do? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did Alex mention it as a joke? <laughs> Alex is Shook has a real, like, sense of humor. I don't know. It's real foodie said that? What? What? How did I miss that? I feel like I would have heard about that. Anyway, Ammo, thank you for the super chat. What's with the reservoir tip in the back of her head? <laughs> She's wearing some kind of crackhead looking ass beanie thing. I especially, like I do too, a Salah will go out of his way. Like if I'm really feeling like I want to quit YouTube, I hate this, I hate everybody, I hate it. He'll like go, he'll turn on the, he'll go look at the comments and read the positive ones to me. Look, look at this positive comment. Like, he's just like, I honestly don't want to cry because, like, I've been just really. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Hold on. I'm in the chat. I'm deeply in the chat. Sean Toddler. FFG. In this live, Foodie Beauty offers to buy Dee Dee's ring if she, quote, kicks him to the curb. Interesting. Interesting. Oh my god, that's really fucked. Okay, okay. It's towards the end of the stream. Okay, we will keep an, a keen ear at, towards the end of the stream. This gave me the will to go on. I love that. Awesome, guys. Um, Emotional lately in so many weird ways. <clears throat> Especially after, like, I don't know, like during prayer or just at weird times, I just start crying, you know, and <clears throat> just like... What you do for me means a lot. Because you have to be patient to be with someone like me, for sure. <laughs> My silver unicorns, thank you for the super sticker. <laughs> oh, he's so sweet. You needed someone like him to show you you deserve love. Yeah. Yeah, true, Aisha. Exactly. Thank you. She deserves love. <laughs> oh. 
it's the weird pinching of the cheeks, the way a grandmother would do to you. It'll never get old. And then she'll get red. It's so weird. Saturday Baker, thank you for the super chat. She said she doesn't like fried potatoes. How dare she lie so blatantly during Ramadan? That's bullshit. <laughs> <You're>... <laughs> I, yeah, you guys are my hug box. You've got me through through a lot. Such a good man for you. I only watched you for over six months. Yeah, like we can't even compare. Just like last year, what kind of state I was in. And I know it was entertaining for people. Oh, God. To compare last year and this year is funny. Okay. Somebody put it up on, on Twitter today. Exactly one year ago today. It was that she got, it was her birthday, right? She's about to leave for Cuba. She got her channel back. And she did that stream. You remember with the thumbnail where she's in that stupid blue and white thing that she bought for Cuba? Bald and like going like, yes, with her two hands. It's like like the victory, you know what I mean? That she got her channel back. <laughs> that was one year ago today. Holy shit. What a year. What a difference a year makes. She had just come out from under Didi. <laughs> <laughs> Was about to leave for Cuba. Cuba rage hadn't even happened. She was still deeply, deeply obsessed and in love with Koki. Doing OnlyFans disgusting things in Cuba. We haven't even gotten there yet. And look at where we are today. Isn't that amazing, eh? One year. Oh my God. Think about your life one year ago today and today. Literally, y'all, I'm sitting in the same room on the same furniture with the same carpet on the same computer with the same mouse and the same joint and this. Uh, uh, and she's just, every single thing is different. You can't look at peeps anymore. I mean, same. I will only see peeps one way for the rest of my life. People, you know, people were <clears throat> super entertained by my messy, miserable life. And, um, but I had to live it. And honestly, I mean, I, it was just hell. Like, I, I can't explain it any other way. Now you're in heaven. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> heaven on earth. <clears throat> hungry can affect moods. Yeah, true. It makes your... But honestly, I don't feel so hungry. Okay, let's say by the time... Let's say maybe around four, I start to get really thirsty and a bit hungry. So then when, when it's time to eat, I really appreciate the food. But save money on blush because so long. He's always pinching my cheeks. Your hands are nice and cold. Oh, really? <coughs> yeah. Oh, I'm hot, eh? Yeah, too much hot. <laughs> too much hot. Oh, my God. His hands are ice cold. She's sweating balls. He probably thinks she has fever. She's just like, no, no, I'm just 450 pounds. I just run hot, you know? Oh, my God. We're nowhere near summer yet. <laughs> what on OnlyFans? Oh, God. Uh, in Cuba, she was trying to make Koki jealous in Cuba. You guys remember this? She put a crotch shot up on OnlyFans, but nobody could tell what it was. It was the most like distorted inner thigh and crotch I've ever seen in my life. I looked at the, it was like a magic eye. Okay. You could stare at that picture until the rep, like the end of your life. I was never going to see a crotch in that picture. I couldn't tell the fuck I was looking at at all. It took me going to Kiwi Farms where somebody had taken a red pen and literally like circled and then labeled the parts of the photo. And I was like, oh, I would have never figured out what the fuck I was looking at. It was the weirdest, weirdest fucking thing. And that's not fat shaming. That is distortion is shaming. The fuck even is that? What do you even do with that? I don't know. Picture you get naked. Oh, you're about to do it, whatever. And boom, and you're faced with that. It's like, um. It's like, you, you got to start doing algebra to figure out what the fuck to do with your thing. You know, I don't know. Shayner, thank you for the super chat. She absolutely is, though. Do you like this look? <laughs> no. You're like, nobody wears that here. <laughs> mm, no comment. I mean, yeah, it's cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he just called her fucking weird hijab thing ugly on her birthday. You did not just hijab ugly shame her on her birthday. No comment. This color on you, I'm telling you. Mm. See, I, I told you mm. when I saw that, I'm like, it's green. Oh, you in October versus now are so different. Yeah, seriously. Voila. You can take down others and make money from them stealing your content and get help from a professional. Other than will help you. Uh, yeah. Well, 
Mandy, thank you for the super chat. You know, doing, concentrating on, you know, I think the gym will help. I have to stay focused on that. I've never been successful at going to a gym for more than like a day. It's moving the blood to make you active more. Yeah. What? What in the gibberish are you talking over there? Shut up, tall Pete. It's time for you to leave. The pizza's done. Now so are you. Bye. Lovely little Lilium, thank you for the super chat. <clears throat> Concentrate on the positive. There's a lot of out there for you. Yes, exactly. And just like you, Golden Girl. By the way, I don't have Instagram, so I can't figure out the two-step authentication. So please, uh, if you want to message me, you can message me on TikTok. I'm actually... Uh... Shows how serious she takes all this. Eh? She's the one who calls it her job. In theory, the Instagram account would be part of her job. Uh, I, I, I can't figure out two-step authentication because I ditched my phone number in Canada and don't have access to that SIM card anymore. Well done, Boss Beach. Such, such a successful business lady. Not only you, even me. So both of us will go back to the gym. Yeah, you're going too. <laughs> yes. I'm going to a women's gym. He's going to a man's gym. Yeah. <clears throat> Olive green. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, more waters and anti-inflammatory foods. I agree. Your shirt looks good with your eyes. Thank you. Yeah, it's kind of the same color. Like, can't really see, but. <laughs> <laughs> I like your dark eyes. Ah, Hello? bubble yeah. Kirby. That makes sense. Thank you for the super chat. Who knows? Get my anxiety out of the gym. Hi. You have such a cute face. <laughs> it's a friendly face, you know? My inhaler. God. She's trying to get like um, compliments out of him. I think that's what's going on. You notice how many times in this stream she has said like, you're so cute. You're so good looking. That's such a good color on you. Blah, blah, blah. I love your face. You know, he's not giving anything, but she'll keep trying. She just wants him to like say those things to her. It's not working, sucker. He's just like, uh, and moves on to I fuck him. So he was like, is my face so cute? And he looks at himself now in the mirror, in the camera. That's all he wants to do. Check himself out. He looks crazy. Look at this. He's giving crazy eye right now. Practicing my sips. Thank you for the super chat, girl. Guys, I found my inhaler. I got to tell them because it's such a thing for me. It's here, right? I think it's I, in I my purse. Let me bring it. So here, you just go into a pharmacy. There's all kinds of pharmacies. You know, like in Canada or US, you need like to go to a clinic, get a prescription. Not here. You go into a pharmacy. I need this. They give it to you. And it's 40 bucks cheaper here. <clears throat> He has to bulk up so he can get the courage to fight Harry. AMC, thank you so much. It's rap chick, babe. Thank you again for the super chat. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm just like, okay. Because I'm like, I need Simbacort. Because, like, honestly, I didn't have an uh, enough Simbacort. Like, so I was worried about that because I need the steroid inhaler. So, like, I was taking Ventolin and it wasn't doing anything really for me. But once I start back on the Simbacort, I can breathe, like, I don't know. And then with the gym, I think it'll improve. And, you know, maybe someday I won't even need the inhaler or my CPAP. Oh, I can't wait to throw that CPAP off the Shake Jabber Bridge. <laughs> don't do it just yet. We've heard all this before. I'm not trying to sound like a hater-ass bitch. It's just I've been following Sean Faltal for a lot of years now. We've heard this all so many times before. Is she going to, like, leave soon? What is this? She's going to have to escape there. Either she'll just fully fuck off with the gym or she's coming back to Canada. I don't know. This is a, this is a, a wreck now. Gym, Ramadan, summer's coming. You're going to melt. I think she might leave soon. Like she'll just lose it one day and she'll flip on a live stream and she'll be like home at her mother's or something and tell us the story of how she lost her shit and just left. Not really, literally, but Jen. Chantal, it was entertaining in a different way. It was like watching a train wreck. Now watching you on this new journey of marriage and being a revert is much more entertaining and much less stressful. Oh, yeah, I think it was in... Oh, here it is, babe. I got it. Okay. Oh, oh. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> Do I sound like a fly? <laughs> Thank you, honey. Yeah, so this is the inhaler I use. Exactly. Yep, the... just like quitting YouTube a hundred times over the past six years. You said it well, exactly. That's it's part of the shtick at this point. You know what I mean? See what you mean, Jen Marie. They care. They care, Aisha. That's right. All right. <clears throat> oh, yeah. That's that's awesome. What a smart idea. As she sits there coughing, wheezing, barely able to breathe, talking to us about all her inhalers. Yeah, no, give her give her the thing from the shisha. Well done. So smart. And you talking about smoking in a home. You're in a cell with no windows, and you got a hamster in the room. You are now hotboxing your hamster. 
Are you sure? You'll yeah. be okay? Yeah, just one, honey. Go ahead. Lemon mint, and it's really relaxing. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> It's hard at first, and I hate getting all sweaty. I'm an old woman now, but still, I'm an old woman too. No. Yeah, I know it is hard to stay motivated and go into the gym and be in pain, especially at first. But you got to get through that pain, and I, I'm like a coward with that. I can't do it. I can't get through it. Tracy says, "Oh no, <laughs> she doesn't speak Arabic at all." <laughs> Tracy, do you like this green? <laughs> I love it. Simba cord is two times a day maintenance inhaler. Yeah. LD's wig. LD. Every time I see that, I got to explain to you after what that means. Enjoy your birthday. I've never seen you more happy or beautiful. You are so worthy and deserving. Thank you so much, LD. That really means a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it means a lot. And just you guys beezing here. So nice. I should walk on the treadmill. That's what hurts the most is the cardio because of my lungs and like, you know, my cardiovascular system is I like weight training. I love you know, the weights and the machines. That feels so good. <laughs> Like, does it really, though? Girl, we've seen you at the gym before. And to be totally fair, again, I don't know, you know, who watched her back in the day. There was a time she was still with BB, and this biatch had a legit um, personal trainer. She had joined a gym, and she got this, like, they used to call him the hot personal trainer. I didn't find him hot at all. He was, like, just a typical little meathead Quebecois-looking guy. His name was George, the trainer. Do you guys remember George? Um... She was drastically smaller back then, like drastically. Like I would guess her probably a, about a hundred pounds less than she is now. And she only did it a few times and she quit, of course. And she would complain at the gym and after the gym and as a reason to have quit, her back hurt so bad when she would be at the gym. It, that was like a hundred pounds ago. What is she going to do? Like, Maybe cycle. What's she going to weight lift? Like, she doesn't know anything about weightlifting. She can't control any of the muscles on her body. She's got no core muscle at all to, like, suck in to do these things. What's she going to lift weights? Cycle. Get on the bike. I don't know. What else can she do? Can she swim? I don't know. We don't know. We don't know. I've never seen her swim. I have no idea. And where would she go there to swim? Because apparently the women take a swimming in the ocean. Or his woman doesn't go swimming in the ocean anyway. I don't know. Or what I think is the truth there, she couldn't find an, uh, one of those burkinis to fit her. I don't know. All I'm saying is this is going to be a waste of money. Racky, thank you for the super chat. We don't even stay in Kuwait in the summer. There you go. She's going to melt like a candle made of fat. I'm telling you, this is going to be a wreck. If you are funny, I swear. <laughs> I make you laugh, eh? You make me laugh too. Oh my god. The, the, your sense of humor? Perfect. Oh, she could. <laughs> that's because then you're an idiot. Okay? If you think that's a good sense of humor, that means you've never heard a joke before. She doesn't have a sense of humor. You just have even less somehow personality than she does, where she seems like the intriguing one out of the two of you. And that says a lot, salad boy. Oh my god. This awesome sense of humor. Sense of humor. What sense of humor? All her jokes are about like farts and not, not anymore. She doesn't even do that anymore. So like, what jokes are you talking about? Winter Sun, thank you for the super chat. Prediction, she invents a medical emergency for herself or a family member and returns to Canada. Could be. Could also be why today she put on the community tab about when I return to Canada to sue the dusty Adidas shirt off of FFG's back. Maybe she's setting that bullshit up too. Oh, I have to go back. I have to sue this bitch. And then she just comes back to escape and like, bad news salad. I can't sue this bitch. But she's like not sweating and back in the air conditioned winter. You know what I mean? Could be. Wouldn't put that past her. No, it's the truth, really, guys. Really? Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I like making people laugh. Are you going to get a birthday bees tomorrow? Maybe we could do a live at a cafe or something for me. Okay, birthday. why not? Yeah. Yeah. Take your time at the gym. Don't rush and go slow. Yeah. Oh, maybe that's why she was so mad today. I'm still trying to figure out what the hell sent her off today. So she asked him last night, oh, maybe tomorrow we could do like a birthday thing at a cafe. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Okay. And then today came and maybe uh, he left. Maybe he locked her in and fucked her off. And maybe that's why she was so pissy today. How slow can I go? No, I'm just joking. 
uh, too many people they are saying we love you, we love you, guys, all visas, we love you all. Oh yeah, we do. I always say that. Like he always says, just remember your beezers. Anytime I feel like quitting, remember your beezers. And I do. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Sam B, welcome to very important beezers. Ready to be? Hey, Sam B, welcome back. Welcome. I think you were here before. Yes, I love everything that is sitting beside you. <laughs> Tracy says. Tracy has the hoss for you. That would be genuinely sad. Okay, I hate her guts, but nobody, can you imagine? Nobody, nobody in the family that you always bullshit and say, oh yeah, you're so close. And, and no one calls you or anything for your birthday? What? Tracy, have <laughs> another beautiful. I don't have cake. I don't really like cake, even when I was growing up. I mean, I like cake now more. Cheesecake. 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 Sorry. Yeah, but my mom always used to get me pecan pie every year for my birthday because I didn't like cake for the longest time. But now I'm just kind of liking cake. Stop me if I've said this before. I also don't really like cake so much. I'm actually not such a sweet person. I like what she says. So my mom, for years now. Instead of a cake, because it was, it's established years ago, like, I'm I'm not the one into the cake. She would buy a giant round loaf of bread, cut it open, put an entire wheel of brie in that motherfucker, close it back up, put it in the oven, take it out, jam a candle in that bitch, and call it my birthday cake. <laughs> and every year she'll ask me, like, what do you want this year as your birthday cake? And it's like to replace it. And it's always cheese and bread. There's no cake in the world that's better than that fucking bread and brie. Mm -mm. You can't convince me otherwise. Uh, practicing my sips. Thank you for the super chat. Exercise is pointless at her size. Risks stroke, heart attack, and will drive up hunger. You can't work off a bad diet. Not eating Big Mac is uh, greater than running an hour. Interesting. Uh, like, I agree. Let's say at her, at her weight, there's no reason to be like fucking trying to run on a treadmill or anything calorie count right you can't like you're saying you can't work out or out work out a bad diet uh but i think up walking would do her good she's got to start forcing the fucking walking you can't walk for five minutes and like oh my back oh my back what the hell do you do like the, i can't imagine that's like being trapped you're like a prisoner in your own body at that point she's got she's got to walk she's got to be able to walk for more than five minutes it's fucked <clears throat> oh, by the way, check this out. This is the left. Mm. This is the leftover chocolate bars from the sixty-eight. Yeah, how many are left? Count, guys. Someone <laughs> will. I, I'll be impressed. Someone would count. Come on, can someone count these? He wear uh, he wear like nerd glasses. Carol, you know <laughs> 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 girl, thank you for the super chat. <laughs> That's funny. I don't like Kit Kats really. Kit Kat. You're full of shit. We know you like Kit Kats. You used to steal pizzas, Kit Kats, all the time. You know, I like Kit Kats when they're a bit melted, so I used to put one under my armpit to melt it a bit and then eat it. <laughs> it was under your boob. <laughs> I hate that I know her this well, but she used to steal pizza's Kit Kats at the villa. This isn't years ago or anything. Take the Kit Kats, put them under her boobs to warm them up a little bit, and then she would eat them. What? <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, you don't have to know all my secrets. Okay. Cheesecake, yeah, Cabela. Falafel, falafel cheesecake. Ew. Yeah, please do call her a bitch when you eat all the chocolates. That's great. Well, I can't pick favorites now. According to my calculations, according to my, <laughs> <laughs> according to my calculations, mm, there is T minus 500. I don't know. Yeah. Well, somebody, I was so amazed by that. Somebody. Ooh, KG, I like that one. Thank you for the super chat. At 16, my dad drilled 16 candles into my birthday melon. I like it. I'd rather have a melon than a cake any day. Yeah. Imagine how people like, they don't have anything to do. Oh my God. <laughs> it makes them interested. I mean, I guess I try to look at it like people are really interested in me for some reason. And, you know, maybe I shouldn't be mean to these people. I'm, I'm just like, sometimes I freak out. I don't know. I have a really bad temper. The FBI couldn't have gotten that armpit story out of me. <laughs> Plus, did I get an accurate weight? I'm go going to see if they have a good scale at the gym. Otherwise, uh, Salah. The jig is up, okay? They did. At one point, um, the candy had been switched out for fruit. But then they were like, you know what? Let's just cut this bullshit. <laughs> and they put the, the fucking candy back in and the now rotten fruit into the garbage. Uh, said he would get me one if I need to. <clears throat> no, Rhonda. <laughs> Oops. 
can I be the second wife, but I can't have kids yet? <laughs> Tracy. Uh, well, sure. Can you cook and clean? <laughs> oh, hi, in a hijab. That's so cute. You think she got to the gym today? That is adorable. I would bet anything that she didn't watch to spite me. She'll put out a video. My first day at the gym. I don't think so. She spent too long writing that book to have gone to the gym today. <laughs> I make that joke sometimes, like as a joke, like sense of humor, I guess. If the house is messy and I have to clean, I'm like, can we get a second? The fucking scale just like it turns on and it goes, yalla. Wife or what? <laughs> as a joke or something. Just, we... just hire a maid and that's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Second wife. Well, I don't know. You know, one to just sit here and eat the food and the other to cook and clean. No, I always broke into my older brother's voice. We're making jokes about multiple wives now. That's a thing. We're just joking about being like, in a sister wife situation. Look at him sitting back there like the fucking Pasha Prick. Pasha Prick. That's his new nickname, Pasha Prick. Uh, hooking on his hookah and <laughs> fantasizing his multiple wives. Six, seven, eight chocolate bars. <laughs> Mashallah. Knock on wood, guys. All. Mashallah. Guys, if you have it, wood or iron, just knock on it. Oi. <sighs> The AC on 20, baby. What? What do you want more than this? It's on 20? You want it 16, 15? Not right now. <laughs> Not right now. <laughs> so it's... Oh, fuck. The air conditioner is on 20 degrees and she's sweating in that red. <sighs> is it already so humid that the air conditioner is starting to not work properly? <laughs> oh my God. This is going to be the worst summer of her life. It's from your plan, Yanni. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sweaty, yeah. Uh, Aisha, I'll give you my kids for a few weeks. Get the weighted hula hoop. Oh, I heard about that. <clears throat> Sharon, <laughs> yeah. My mom got me a walkie-talkie phone for Christmas, and it would let me listen in on my sister's phone calls. No way! That would have been so dope. Were they older, too? <laughs> People like you because you're down to earth. I try to be, you know. I have about yeah, to. She's a humble woman. Why wouldn't she be down to earth or humble? What elevates her? The good looks? The prestigious career? All the money she makes? <laughs> Bitch, you're in the gutter. <laughs> well, trying. Thanks, baby. Welcome, baby. Uh, Sam. Thank you, Sam B. If you ever want to watch Degrassi, I have a playlist and 15 is free on my Prime. <laughs> really, LD? Oh my God. Okay, I want to see. Did that happen, Aisha? Did that really happen? There's some comments funny. <laughs> <laughs> Belly dancing. I want, yeah, you're right. It would be good exercise in private, yeah. Hamburger phone <laughs> from McDonald's. We don't have a fan yet. We're going to get one. Inshallah, tomorrow. Okay, Nightmare Ghostface. Yeah, Inshallah, tomorrow. Okay, good. For my birthday again. <laughs> again? Thanks for joining, by the way, Ghostface. <clears throat> Are you gonna do weights at the gym and Kit Kats will fall out of her? <laughs> Why do I tell you guys these things? I always shoot myself in the leg. Which what how does the saying go? Shoot myself in the foot or leg? <clears throat> I have a good voice for ASMR. I don't know why I get this criticism a lot. Why do you talk like this? It's so creepy. Because I know this is gonna be rich coming from me. She does not have a good voice for ASMR. And as somebody else who does not, I know that. Your voice is so annoying. You're going to ASMR? Uh, uh, no. At least lean into how stupid you sound. I always said if I would do one of those channels, it wouldn't be ASMR. It would be anti-ASMR. And I would just make the most obnoxious sounds I can. It would be the total opposite. Who the hell? What are you going to do? Low BMI voice into the fucking microphone? Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait, wait, wait. They just bought microphones. Let's not even put this out into the world. Oh, no. Is that why they bought microphones? Because, listen, do you think David Attenborough, he does documentaries, he does narration, or Morgan Freeman. I bet you Morgan Freeman, when he has to do a documentary on turtles or something like this, or Earth or whatever, he talks very calm and very, and the Earth is 500 billion years old, you know? But whenever he's at home and he unwinds, he talks like a freaking, you know, every everyday person. <laughs> <clears throat> wait, 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 wait. Put it back to what? Wait a minute. Put it back to what? How far am I going back? I'd be a great alarm clock. <laughs> Just start screeching in your ear. Yeah! <laughs> I 
Why do you talk like this? It's so creepy. Because, listen, do you think David Attenborough, he does documentaries, he does narration, or Morgan Freeman. I bet you Morgan Freeman, when he has to do a documentary on turtles or something like this, or Earth or whatever, he talks very calm and very, and the Earth is 500 oh, billion years old. You're right, no. Mayor Barry, it's my fault now if it happens. Add it to the list of all the things that are my fault. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, apple cider vinegar, Rhonda, yeah, I hear that. Yeah, some people use it, uh, use it like, um, like an act. Oh, you know, yeah. act, yeah. not in the real, uh, real life, <coughs> you know? Yeah, like a professional. Oh, an act, not real. Kind of like your performative marriage, your performative Ramadan and that. Oh, God, look at his face. Why? Oh, every single pause, does this guy either look like a douchebag or like he's stroking out? No narration voice. Exactly. Yes. I mean look, look, look. If you just keep pausing and unpausing, you're getting one or the other. But douchebag. Douchebag. Stroke. <laughs> Stroke. <laughs> it always works. Douchebag. <laughs> oh, this is my new favorite game to play with tall peeps. I swear, Harry is hamster Sam. Um, and by the way, I get update photos. Like, I haven't gotten one in a little while, but the last one I got, she shaved him because, like, she and she had him for a while so he wasn't matted um he just had bad dandruff i guess so or dander my favorite gift was the lies the lies i would bet anything that sam was super matted because bbj was super matted there was shit all mashed up towards her thus and stuff and mats all over her thighs and uh sam had the longer fur so i think it's pretty safe to assume that if she had to have all that clipped off of her that's probably why he needed to be shaved. Luna reacts. Thank you for the super chat, girl. Your fam never, besides my mom and hubs, wish me happy birthday. Really? Unless I can't contact them, I'll never hear from them. That's so sad. Well, at least you have your mom and your hubs. Bless them. That, but that's really fucked. It was my Easy Bake Oven. Oh my gosh, Easy Bake Oven. I remember the flavor of the cake. It was like burnt a little bit. Documentary about... In his head right now, he's like, huh, I wonder if I bought her an easy bake oven if she would actually fucking cook something. Because I got her an actual oven and she doesn't do shit. Mandy, thank you for the super chat. Uh, turtle skeletons in the walls. Thank you, LD. I want you to narrate a documentary in your happy voice. Happy. <laughs> you oh. look like this? <laughs> Dear free. How can you hear such awful things about yourself and keep smiling? Honestly, for the most part, I don't watch the videos. Like, I usually what? You're full of shit. Stop it. You don't watch the videos. You spend your whole life watching the videos about you on YouTube. You know everything that's said. We know this. Stop lying. You know everyone can tell, right? Oh, I don't watch the videos about me. That girl, thank you for the super chat. That's creepy, and I love it. Happens is, like, I'll see, like, on my recommended or, you know... I don't know, like once in a while, peripherally, I'll see like what, like thumbnails and stuff like that. But Babe. why would she come up in her recommended unless she was like always uh, searching for herself and watching videos about herself? That doesn't make sense at all. Your, your recommended becomes what you search for. Hmm. That is crazy. Oh, it was eight days till Sam was shaved. P day today. I'm surprised it was eight. I thought it was less, honest to God. But yeah, I'm sure part of the reason that he had to get shaved was all the mats. Can I sing because I'm happy? Because I'm happy. In Harry voice? Yeah. Because I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? No, the only thing I can do in the Howie voice is Harry. Because I'm happy. <laughs> I swear to God, I hate uh, these yeah, yeah. so much. Just ignore these haters. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. And you guys it's are so encouraging that. Like, like, just ignore, you know, so I really, really, really. They're really giving the advice to just ignore the haters when all she does constantly is address haters with Patricia Thomas sitting there, Pasha Prick, throwing in his two cents, joining in on bitch drama. Just ignore the haters. Why can't you take your own damn advice? Ren Summer, thank you for the super chat. 
probably smells fish thinking she cooked when he comes home, opens the door, and it's just her starfish on the couch. Wah, wah. Appreciate having like-minded people who just want the best for me. Like, it makes me feel good about being on here. I couldn't imagine, like, not having any support system at all. It would feel very lonely, you know? So... Literally me, like <clears throat> five minutes before Fadger, like uh -huh. I saw I saw a funny TikTok. This guy, this many people do this meme where it's like they're sitting around all food and then they have the food in their mouth waiting to bite it. And then the minute they hear they hear Allahu Akbar, like the call to prayer, they're like <laughs> In my opinion, it's giving rude. She's sitting, she's doing a live stream. You're sitting right next to her brr, 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 on that fucking hookah. It's rude, in my opinion, like to the audience. What? Whoa, whoa, no. <laughs> her shorts are places she can't visit. Who can't visit? <clears throat> yeah, we have central air. It's on 20. 20? It's set to 20 right now, the central air, but I'm still no. kind of hot. 17. You have the AC on 17? No, I mean the weather. Oh, it's 17. The AC 20. Yeah, and I'm still hot. Because honestly, if I cover my, my whole body, I get warm no matter what, you know, but I, yeah. I know there's a lot of people who aren't really, you know, they're not familiar with Islam and being Muslim and everything. And a lot of people will say, why do you have to wear that? You don't have to wear that. I'm Muslim, I don't wear it. No, I, I just want to like reiterate, it's a choice for me. You know, I choose to wear this and uh, this modest dress and yeah, do it for God, you know? Modesty. Modesty. When you wrote out that book, that hateful ass book on your community tab, were you writing that one for God too? Did you have a hijab on while you wrote that one? Did you do prayers right before or right after it? You put your energy where it belongs in your marriage and into yourself. Yes, LD's wig. I woke up 15 minutes before Fajr. I didn't eat, but I made sure I drank. Yeah, that's the most important thing. <laughs> drink water. Water. Really, Happy Tales? I don't know. I don't like accusing. I don't, I really don't want to accuse unless I know for sure, you know? So I wouldn't, but yeah, it wasn't me at all. I mean, you could, I guess if they traced it, like they could find out, but three fans, Tracy. Uh, are you sweating? No, you're not sweating. Me, no, no. Not He's probably cold, Tortellini. No, for me, it's now normal. Mm. It, hi, Anna Moberly. It's 4 a.m. here. So we have 28 minutes till Fajr. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll hear the um, call to prayer and then we know that's it. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, Mimi. I'm sweating because I'm next to you. And you're... Oh, oh feel God, bad. I'm so glad I pressed the button right there. I'm sweating because I'm next to you and you're so hot. It's like, like if somebody posted like a vlog, I would feel bad like taking it right away and like using it as my own content. Like I would, you know, but that's me. Not everyone is the same. Plus, it's just bo like boring. Am I not boring or what? Like, <laughs> I don't know. No, you're super boring, but we've all been watching you for a long ass time now and we're invested in this stupid shit. So we need something to jazz it up. And that's where the reaction channels come in. We are here to jazz up your nothing. Be thankful. We keep you relevant. And I really, really mean that. I don't mean that to just like have something to come back at her with. I think it's pretty evident to everyone at this point. No one would be watching this shit anymore. It's so bad. Uh, yup, we can't, uh, wait, but we want closure. Exactly. It's like you've been watching a show for so long. The show becomes boring, but you're in it. You're like, I gotta see how this shit ends now. You. Uh, uh, that's how I feel. Gucci girl gang gang. Thank you for the super chat. And to be totally fair, and another thing, now I'm so like, invested in a different way in this because of you guys i find the group so much fun like i have fun doing this every day because of the chat it's so much less to do with what's going on chantal or actually on the screen and it's become all about the chat it's a great fucking time you know what i mean it gave a whole reason to like chantal that really has nothing to do with chantal at all well a watermelon cowboy thank you for the super chat it, when he inhales, it sounds like the lob mac and cheese. For, oh, no. Oh, no. It kind of does. And I'm never going to not be able to hear that now. No.
<laughs> I don't know. I like doing my vlogs and I love doing our couples vlogs. We're going to be, uh, have to edit stuff. Oh my gosh. Like, honestly, I go through these, like, oh my like, God, it really does though. Moments where I just don't really want to do much of anything. And I just try to use all my energy on like, you know, sticking with the program and, you know, keeping everything clean as much as I can. Sometimes it's just like chaos in my brain. So it's weird. As long as you're healthy and happy. Yeah, that's the thing. Like I realized like the most important thing, like think about it. I remember seeing like Mufti Mank say this. He's like, you were born with nothing. You were born without clothes. You were born without any possessions. And when you die, you're going to get, you're going to be buried in a piece of cloth, which is more than what you came into the world with. Mashallah. You know? No, no. You bury me with my Adidas. You, you dress me in my finest Adidas tracksuit, but you pack all of the Adidas with me. I'd like them in the afterlife. I need at least four pairs of sneakers in there. Um, I don't know, all my favorite stuff. You better put me a pre-roll J. I'm not rolling. I got no time for rolling in the afterlife. A cloth. Girl, get the hell out of here. You pack everything you can with me when I go. All the good stuff. AC Hill, thank you for the super chat. Oh, my God. So it's like, it's so true. Like at the end of the day, at the end of your life, all that's going to matter when you die is good deeds. Not how much you have, not your, not how much you spent on handbags or cars. It's not going to matter a hundred percent. Yeah, that's, that's good. She just reminded me, you pack, you pack me my Aducci, my baby Aducci, and you put my car keys in it. You never know. Maybe when I'm haunting, I, I'll be able to start the car. You never know. But just in case I want the keys, I want the baby Aducci. Exactly. <clears throat> you know, and during life, sure, those things make us more comfortable. But I think like for me, I'm happy as long as I have like, obviously food, number one, but like, <laughs> no, love, number one. I mean, like for possessions wise, like food and like shelter and anything, you know, I try to just be grateful. And honestly, like this, I no wasn't always that way. Like I used to feel like, oh my gosh, I don't picture me. I'm a ghost coming down the street, driving my car and I'm going to fucking haunt you, boo bitch have this i have nothing to show in my life well you know you have to think of experiences too and what you learn and everything so, yeah correct yeah yeah ld's wig yeah thank you i like making them yeah sweaty <laughs> I said food number oh God, of course well as possessions wise yeah. what gucci coffins wait do you think my chair could fit in there with me Hmm. Maybe I do need a pyramid. I don't know how my chair is going to fit in there, but I need to be sitting on that throne in the afterlife. Edith Puthy, thank you for the super chat. Please make sure BBJ is your cat in the afterlife just to piss her off. <laughs> we both sit there in our Gucci, sitting there on the Gucci chair together as I pet her, judging her. Hmm. I've said this many times in my streams also, like for the, like one number one reason that it's so amazing to be alive as a human being is to be able to experience um, love, you know? <laughs> McGunn's, okay, we, McGunn's is McDonald's. We were literally going to order McDonald's. <laughs> Gucci gang gamer girl, shut up and leave. <laughs> How dare you? I'm gonna haunt you for that one. When you see the ghost car coming down the street, remember this day, bitch. <laughs> right we were going to but then it wasn't open for delivery so yeah, sorry closed. yeah we were gonna order um mcdonald's it was uh, their salad you guys um, we need to get it they have a shrimp burger crystal i mean why did you block me i didn't block you crystal if you're sending that super chat you're not blocked so that's weird that you're not able to send messages thank you so much crystal that's so nice of you no i didn't block you yeah if you're sending the message what do you mean <laughs> crystal. sorry crystal Actually, I was wondering why you weren't in the chat. Did you get blocked or something? No. Which chair? The floral one on the screen right now. <laughs> oh, the shade. No, my chair is good looking. Bloop. AC Hill, thank you for the super chat. Salad trying his damnest to get lung cancer. <laughs> My entire life, I never knew that my dad gave bread to the homeless shelter every single day until his funeral. He never spoke about what good deeds he did. That's the best thing. Yeah, that's the best thing for sure. 
I know like sometimes I would give homeless money on live stream. It's only because I was live and they happened to be there asking for money. So I would do it. It's not like I wanted, you know, but exactly golden girl. It's like you do good deeds without expecting anything in return, you know? Mm -hmm. So oh, exactly. Yeah. How's your shisha? <clears throat> Perfect. As you want. We have to have more keyboard music some night. Like I'm, like, I'm dumbfounded. Like what I could, I swear I fell more in love with you when I when I first when you first played Fire Ruth for me. I couldn't believe how good Oh my god. I fell in love with you when you played me your first one-handed keyboard. She got extremely low bar. Oh my god. Well, I guess when you chase the crackhead who didn't want you for a year and a half, your your bar gets low. You could play like Arabic keyboard. You can play Fire Ruth. I love it. So nice. I want to hear it. Inshallah. No? I don't have to do it now. No. So we'll have a keyboard night, eh? Because we have to get off soon. Yeah, good, good. Not? We can avoid that night like the plague. We'll do something else on that night. I don't think so. We wouldn't block Crystal. Okay, I'm going to check Crystal. I really don't honestly remember blocking you at all. So <laughs> that's weird. For sure I'll check Crystal. Okay, sorry. I don't know. I was like, your, your avatar was like a green apple, right? <laughs> Is that the same Crystal? I was like, where's Crystal? Oh, yeah, my poor sock seller. Yeah. Yeah, the sock guy. <laughs> yeah. Well, I ever. Oh, just a geeky girl. Girl, don't feel bad. We all miss Crackhead Olympics. We don't like Koki. It, nothing changes there, but Crackhead Olympics was undeniably the best time on her channel ever. And there'll never be anything like Crackhead Olympics. We we were watching literal cocaine bear <laughs> like I, I don't know how else to put that i never thought i would be watching the things that i saw on youtube during that time on youtube it was like an out of body experience and we all did it together crack at olympics is the peak vitamin chaos thank you for the super chat he won her heart and soul with his keyboard skills can you imagine <laughs> you're just desperate to give away that heart and soul aren't you what needs socks you know and for some reason, we always lose socks. <laughs> like a ghost. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Or I don't know, like the best thing ever, ever is when you're looking for socks, when you're like, okay, I need socks. And then you're like, oh no. Oh my God, I'm so the trauma. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh no, 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 <clears throat> no. Just try to feel good always. So I, I realized that I have to really like, try to just spread positivity in any way I can. Like as somebody who's just always negative, I have to try. It's so much better for your health, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So, you know. <laughs> oh, I have to charge my earphones. Cute. <laughs> yeah. It's not for the gym. Cute. Can you still oh, no, no, there's 10 the... minutes left. We can't dip. We have to hear the thing about Didi and the necklace. Oh. Do you mean, oh. Uh, not during fasting, okay, Bella. <laughs> After, yeah. If that necklace had any value. Oh. <laughs> Are you learning Arabic? Yes, I haven't tried Duolingo, no, but I have... Honestly, I learned the best learning when it's through everyday practical use of language. So, like, hearing him say... Yeah, that's not true, because you're not improving. The pronunciation hasn't changed. <laughs> you should do something like Duolingo. It teaches you pronunciation things all the time like masalama i know that means bye remember i asked you when you first started I'm like what's masalama mean yeah every time you're on the phone that's not my son bye like just mean uh, the peace with you yeah that's, yeah and uh, yeah yeah all these big exactly health and happiness okay bella yeah yeah, after uh, after a certain time, it's all good as long as you're married. Yeah, otherwise it would be like a hat-on relationship. Yeah. So, but we are totally hello. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I know some. Okay, agreed. Hard agree. Watermelon kisses. Arabic is so far away. I can't speak for everyone, you know, but from English, let's say, which is. Chantal's mother tongue, my mother tongue. It's so far from English. I do find it extremely hard to learn. However, we have an advantage, or we're supposed to anyway, because of the French. Pronunciation should come easier to us because of the French. She has uh, French as a second language too, just like I do. And I know that it gave a, a huge advantage to at least learning that pronunciation in Arabic, right? 
she just uh, she sucks in French. She sucks in Arabic. I don't know. Maybe it's because her French is that bad. Hmm. She can't get the placement of the tongue to make the sound. Haram. It's not that difficult. It's not even really rolling an R. It's just knowing where to put your tongue as you speak, you know? Basic Arabic, but, you know. Actually, you are fast learning very. Thanks, honey. You get the word very fast and you learn it. And you, you also say it in a nice way. Yeah. With nice spelling. Yes. Oh, You're full of and shit, you salad. Shut up. Language. I'm trying my best. <laughs> yeah, you do try. You do. Thank you. Very <clears throat> and you're very good. Your woohoo reminded me of a prairie dog. <laughs> you know how they poke? Spanish would also give you a huge advantage to learn French. Because they that's what they taught us, or they tried to teach us Spanish in, in high school here. Because, ah, it's going to be so simple. They learn, They already speak French. You know what I mean? It's actually quite close. A lot of it, like, very close. But it didn't work for us who already spoke French. Because... All of us just kind of <laughs> would trail off into French. <laughs> as soon as you would like go there it, with your brain, it was going to French and every single person did it. They stopped doing the fucking Spanish in the high school. Have you ever seen like a, a rodent? Like when they're, for example, sometimes Harry will be going about his business, chewing on the corn. And then sometimes like if you go take out the garbage or something, he'll hear the door. He'll go. <laughs> <laughs> his reaction is. He, really? he freezes for like a oh, good <laughs> five minutes. Like, <laughs> Me, oh my, you're right. So in his mouth. And it's like, a nice story. <laughs> it's very, 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 very good stuff, really. Yeah. Thank you. <clears throat> I want to do karaoke nights on TikTok, and you can play the keyboard. Will you learn how to play Vanessa Carlton for me? <laughs> Anyone can tell that you're both in love. A gym vlog, yes, maybe. <laughs> um. Oh, thanks, LB. And you know what? All we have, who cares like what people think about? All we have to do is I'm sure these these people even believe that we are. They just have to come up with something, contrive something for. Because honestly, if you look at it, my con absolutely would be. That makes a lot of sense. Gucci uh, Gucci girl gang gang. Thank you for the super chat. Content pays a lot of bills in the community. Honestly, like it really really does, including my own. So you know, but it's it's true. Like well, it contributes, but like it's. You know, it's, <laughs> hey, I'm not making nearly as much. Okay, it's a trade-off, okay? I'm not making nearly as much as I used to last year, but honestly, I have peace and I have him, and that's all I got to say is it. That's it. You know what? That's the most logical thing I've ever heard this woman say. I don't know what just bumped her in the head and she has a moment of clarity. Yes, Chantal, exactly what you just said. You need to clip that and keep listening to that part. You're right. Hey, I'm not making nearly as much money as I did last year. But look, I have a husband now. I'm apparently trying to become a better person now. My life has changed. I have enough to survive. I don't need more than that. That's a great way of thinking, but that's not really how you think. This is bullshit. We know this is not how you think. You're so butthurt that you're not making the money that you did last year. Understandable. But last year was still like the outskirts of Kraken Olympics. You were still chasing Koki. On this day, you had just stopped eating the Arby's on this day one year ago. You understand? Things were different. So worth it. <laughs> Hi, Lyndon. Prepare my thing. Like, for real, for real, you want to come back to Canada right now and on your way from the Montreal airport, you go to Lachine, you hit that purple mattress, you start this bullshit back up, you'll have all the money you did last year. It's a choice. You made the choice. You, you probably made the good choice. I'm not saying, I mean, for us, it wasn't a good choice, but for you, probably the right choice, but it's a choice. Things in an aggressive tone. Thanks, Mimi. <laughs> Sing Burple People Eater. <clears throat> White Houses, I never heard that one. The only song I know by Vanessa is has A Thousand Miles. What flavor hookah? It's a uh, Lemon mint. Lemon mint. Or limon nana. Limon nana. <laughs> limon nana. Lemon. Lemon. Lemon nana. Lemon nana. Yes. I love that. <laughs> I can learn Arabic from just being around Salah. Yeah. I actually was, I was supposed to do so many things. But the gym is starting. Then I'm going to maybe look into Arabic classes. Um, we'll see. Maybe in person they offer them. So, like for free, a lot of places. So. Oh, yeah. She's going to so do anyway. that. <laughs> anyway. Um, 
but I learned through practical use, like I said, like I could, I could read, I could see something in Arabic and I won't retain it unless I'm using it every day. Thank you. Hold on. Did she just say that she can read in Arabic? There's no fucking way. No fucking way can she read Arabic. I would bet my life on it. <laughs> no, 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 she can't. That was a lie. She can't. Maybe she can read if somebody spells things out just phonetically with like English characters. You know what I mean? Like English alphabet characters. There is no way, and I bet my life on it, that she could read one word of Arabic. Thank you, Leah. Thank you. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Lyndon. He's smoking Harry. Oh, poor Howie. No, I can't. Howie is so cute. I love him. Especially when he freezes. You should see him like he's an escape artist. Want me to show? Coles? Yeah. Oh, come on. Patricia <laughs> Thomas, just leave. No one cares about your fucking hookah. You're boring as shit. 12 p.m.? Yeah, so about seven. There's a kid in the window. <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> Never. All people know by the way, still awake. Could they have the hope? Yeah. Then drink, then pray, then sleep. Yeah, yeah, we have to do voodoo. Love you. Thanks, LD. I want to go watch Degrassi. Wake up in the morning. Gotta shake that feeling. Gotta face the day of school. Okay, let's play a game. Who was the ugliest Degrassi kid? No, I'm just joking. That's mean. <laughs> have a good night, y'all. It's 423. So we're going to go till 430? Is that what you said? Uh, three minutes. Oh, well, three minutes. Completely 90 minutes. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Wait, Ethan. It's 423. She thought there was 10 minutes left to eat. There's three minutes left to eat. Dun, dun, dun. And she looks over at the bowl of chocolate bars and wants to double fist two of them real quick. <laughs> 23 a.m. <clears throat> oh, we kids are back for revenge. <laughs> it's the desert kids. They're coming for oh, no. water before fast. <laughs> no more water. No. Close it. Close it. Oh, close it. <laughs> sweet, sweet. Thanks, Aldi. Yeah, I'm trying, you know. Sometimes I take some steps back, but, eh, you know. If I fall, I get up. Not in real life, but figuratively. <laughs> Actually, I can do squats pretty well. Well, my knee. Excuse you? Uh, listen, listen, squat, okay? If you could squat, you wouldn't be the starfishing queen. If you can squat in a gym, you can squat other places too. Don't you dare bullshit us that you can squat. Maybe you can get down, but then Lord knows you're not getting back up. You can squat pretty well. Shut up. I want to see proof of that. Get up and squat. Do one. Go. Knees actually hurt me lately. My knees are bad. So yeah, it's hard to get up and down. But at the gym, hopefully we'll change that. So you have anything, any last words? Cool. Did you have a nice birthday celebration for me? Thanks for playing the keyboard for me. That was very special. The best gift ever was hearing you sing happy birthday to me. In Arabic, kol am wintikhir. Sorry? Kol am wintikhir. Kol am wintikhir? Yeah, it's like happy birthday to you. Kol am wintikhir. Is it remedy? Everybody wants something they'll never give up. <laughs> it's from LD. I think it's from a show I used to watch. That was a stupid question. What did you ask? <clears throat> Yeah, thanks guys for beezing and uh, just, yeah, I know Tracy sometimes, that's why it's psychological, like, so I try not to think about it. <clears throat> oh my god, just fucking end it. Or during past, yeah, around 4.30, like now. It's over. Yeah, no. The food is over now, go. <laughs> LD, oh, what was her name? Yeah, I didn't like her. She had a rat tail <clears throat> mullets hybrid wolf cut weird hairdo. But she wasn't a nice person, you're right. I think I would have to say, I don't know, I can't think of, I don't know, I think snake or wheels, I'm not sure, but I'm kidding. It's, you know what it was? It wasn't the people who were ugly, it was the style of the 80s. It was so like the mashed potato bangs and the, ugh, I don't know. You're full of shit. You're full, abs how dare you, as a Canadian also, you're shitting on one of our national treasures. There was never anything as adorable as Joey Jeremiah. It is what it is. Joey Jeremiah was kind of everyone's first crush. If you were Canadian of I'm like our age, you know what I mean? Joey Jeremiah would be as cute today as Joey Jeremiah was 30 fucking years ago. It is what it is. 
uh, don't start with the early 80s style and the blah, blah, blah. Adorable. Okay? Shut your face, Chantal. How dare you? <laughs> the mullets, you know. Anyway, now time to okay. go uh, do wudu and pray yeah. and we sleep. Yeah. Thank you guys all for attending this uh, birthday celebration. Yeah. We appreciate it all. And uh, we love you all, Beezers. Yes. Thanks for everything, babe. And I love you. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, the, the last thing they have to say has to make us sick. Get out of here. Just just shut up and leave. Ugh. Ugh. That was bad. That was very bad. Oh, I don't know what to say. Bye bye, werewolf. Yes, I like it. Um, so yeah, again, that was bad. That was the birthday stream. Not that the birthday streams used to be riveting or anything, but they used to be better than that. That might be the worst birthday stream I think I've ever seen in all these years. I bet Joey Jeremiah would want nothing to do with Arby's. And the next time Joey Jeremiah is here in the chat, I got to remember and ask that question. Arby's, yes or no? I would bet no. It's got just too much taste and too much class for that. Mm. Nice try, Lord Baroque. Trying to get someone on your side with the fucking Arby's. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I'm glad that one's over. Okay. Listen, again, if that's the best she can do, uh, that's the birthday stream. That's This is the content. They didn't do anything for her birthday stream. They ordered a pizza or he went and got a pizza and locked her in while she while he went to get it. Who fucking cares? Sat there and ate it and didn't do anything. And that's a birthday. We played some one-handed keyboard as a gift for the birthday. How did we miss the necklace? Because to be fair, I skipped quite a bit there at the end. And I don't really care enough to go back. I will find us that clip. We can watch it tomorrow. I, I literally don't care enough to go back and start searching for that. I'm I'm happy we skipped. I don't fucking care. That was uh, painful at the end there. Just painful. Oof. The birthday stream. <laughs> so she's really, really mad today. Um, your best guess is as good as mine as to why. Did it get her out of going to the gym? Probably. Is she actually as mad as she's pretending to be let's say she might be i would be pretty fucking mad too if my new husband hadn't done shit except for lock me in the cell and probably fuck off without me and that was my birthday and i had very high expectations for my birthday my first married birthday i don't know and maybe you go over to reaction channel and you see we sit here or other you know communities too i'm not just talking girl gang but we sit around we have a good time we laugh you're miserable and you watch people have a good time and you think, fuck, if only it could be like that on my channel, but it can't because you're, you're just, you're too boring and you make everything blah. Chantal, again, I think tonight you did say something that was sort of a moment of clarity, but I think it was said in fakeness. You made a choice last year. Yes. You may have been earning more money than you ever have. And now you may be earning a fraction of it, but you choose salad you have salad you have this fake marriage you're wearing a wedding ring on your finger you're in another country it's a choice i stand by what i said if she got on a plane tomorrow came home and started crackhead olympics up with koki again she would be making just as much money as she did last year the ball would be rolling again on her channel she would have the momentum back i really do mean that it's gotten too boring so okay you made your choice don't keep lashing out at everybody because this is what your choice pays or these are, I don't want to say the consequences of your choice, but kind of the consequences of your choice. Accept it. And if you don't like it, bitch, get your ass back to Montreal, get on that fucking purple mattress and give us back our content. It's not that deep. <laughs> it's really not. Whenever you're ready to get dirty again, bitch, we are here and we are waiting. Until that day, just keep ramadaning, keep fucking cosplaying with the hijab on and bitching that it's the reaction channel's fault that you're not making the money you did last year. Whatever you say, lunatic, <clears throat> keep trying to convince yourself of that, but we're not convinced. Anyway, y'all, um, thanks for being here tonight for Chantal's birthday party. It was the shittiest birthday party I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh my God.
I've I've made a decision. We were going to wait till Friday for the stream with Evie, Everest Traveler's Tale, and our DMing back and forth <laughs> and what's been going on. I don't have the patience. I'm an impatient beach. So tomorrow I'm going to be busy during the day, but uh, I want I want to do an Evie stream tomorrow. I don't know if we'll do it on YouTube. We don't usually. It's usually our intimate beezing setting over on the Twitch. We may Twitch. We may YouTube it. I don't know. I will let you know ahead of time. We have important things to discuss tomorrow from those DMs, okay? And we have to put our heads together as a group and come up with some stuff together. I will explain everything and the DMs tomorrow, all right? It's riveting. It's so much more interesting than Chantal. He loves the fact that we react to him. He, th he gets a whole kick out of this thing, and I certainly do too. So we're leaning in in a big way. Uh, I'll, I'll let you know all about it tomorrow. Okay, guys, everybody enjoy the rest of your nights. Thank you again so, so much for being here. I had a great time despite the god-awful content. Uh, be safe. Whatever you're doing, everybody keep your masks on, and I will meet you back either here or on the Twitch tomorrow. I'm not sure. I'll let you know uh, for a very important Eevee-related meeting. Okay, bye, guys. <laughs>